Uh, hey, it's our space from Roblin Public Radio. Woo! Uh, we're playing Delta Green. <coughs> we're playing Delta Green. We are. Uh, this is called uh, Operation Red Willow. Uh, this is actually a game I've run on the Patreon. Uh, so after this game, uh, you can listen to that version on our YouTube channel. Or if you already listen to the YouTube channel, you can listen to this and see how, see how things turn out differently. Poorly. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, I'm going to change one thing first off the bat. First off, you guys are not members of Delta Green. Oh. Uh, so you don't know anything. You've never heard that term before. So we'll... Um, but first off, introduce your characters. Tom? All right. Uh, I'm playing uh, Clay Sanford, a federal agent. Okay. Do you have you figure out what agency you want to be? I mean, FBI is fine, but if you... Uh... Um, I'll go FBI. Not, not the EPA. <coughs> All right. Uh, and then next... Uh, EPA would work as well? Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, next up we have Sean. Yes, I'll be playing Petty Officer Third Class Carla Campisi, who is in the Coast Guard. Okay. She her specialty is going to be she's an electrician, oh. but knows a lot of things besides. Um, so the briefing is uh, New Seed, N U Seed, uh, a biotech firm with several Department of Defense contracts, asked for discreet age with an urgent matter at the primary research facility, um, in which is in a converted oil rig in the Gulf of Mexico. <coughs> Helicopter will take you to the facility tonight. Um, so, that's uh, you have basically been tapped uh, by your supervisors um, because they need you to go and check on this. And this is a off the books thing. Your supervisor, your your uh, uh, what officer are you out of? Probably somewhere in Texas. Mm, I say uh, Houston. Houston. <clears throat> uh, you know, uh, do you want to give your supervisor a name? Hmm. Let's go, uh, Carlton. Okay. C- Car- Senior Agent Carlton. Senior Agent Carlton uh, tells you, look, um, this is uh, officially you're going to be given sick leave, uh, and but don't worry, you will get extended days. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'll be fully paid, uh, but this is an off the books. This is a um, a checkup on a important defense contractor, and uh, I know uh, you can handle this agent. But it's just a helicopter ride over, talk to some people, make sure everything's on the up and up, uh, and uh, don't worry about it. So, um, and then meanwhile, uh, Can Sean? See, uh, yeah, um, I'm going to say that Senior Chief Wilson, my mentor, and also a bond, mm-hmm. is the one who's specifically putting me forward for this. Okay. Why not? And, and she'll be stationed, I don't know what, where the Coast Guard stations are in the Gulf, there's a few. So yeah. Uh, one Galveston or something like we'll that. Look at yeah. that. Uh, yeah, so you're actually at the place where you're going to helicopter out. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, your, your, uh, supervisor, what was it? Uh, Wilson. Wilson. Uh, Wilson tells you, uh, again, I don't know the Coast Guard, uh, hierarchy, uh, org chart, so I'm not going to be able to, I'm sorry. It's fine. Uh, so, cause I'm changing things up, but I, I okay. so, uh, last time they were all Delta Green agents. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he, he, Wilson tells you, look, um, they have... They, they've uh, new seed. They they're really well connected. They know people who know people who know people, and uh, something's come up, and they want some help, but they want it to be very discreet. So, right now, officially, you are just going to be there as a consultant there to, with some technical aspects of the oil rig. Okay, so don't show up in uniform. Um. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, uh, we'll give you. We'll, we'll say. They'll say if I'm, if I'm at the side, I probably. They probably said, "Do not wear uniform." Yeah. Do not. Not. Not yeah. uniform. Just. Uh, you know. Your merchant marine consultant. You're. You're just there. Contractor. Um. Just to help resolve the problem. Whatever it is. Uh. You'll talk. To. Uh. Let's see here. Do 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 do. I thought I gave the person a name. Um. Douglas. Uh, I'm really pissed because I did spend some time looking up names and uh, adding names over everything else. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, uh, there's a, the the man who runs the oil rig uh, for New Seed. Uh, his last name is Douglas. Um, he's the person you talk to. Um, they have a helipad, you know, so you just land there. He'll tell you what's up, what what they need taken care of. Uh, they just need some outside people to take a look at it. Um, it's some sort of technical problem from what I understand, and they just, um, I don't know the politics of it, but this came up from high above, and uh, I'm, I'm, you're gonna, you'll, this will do what you, you'll, you'll do well 
to do this. If you do, if you do really well, people will remember this. All right, all right. especially you, but you got to keep your mouth shut. So, understood. You're on a training mission, can't tell anybody. Whatever. Yeah, anyways, um, so uh, yeah. Do either of you want to do anything before you uh, jump on the helicopter? Uh, uh, is there any equipment I'm being recommended to bring? I'm guessing if I'm just being brought on as a tech consultant. They're probably not giving me any kind of sidearm or anything like that, and why would they? Um, yeah, they don't give you a sidearm. Uh, they give you a toolkit. Yeah. Um, the standard kind of overalls that you would expect on an over, you know, the safety equipment you would get to yeah. work on an oil rig, you know, helmet, uh, mask, Some kind gloves, of vest, probably. Uh, yeah, vest, uh, you know, life inflator vest. Um, and uh, so those work clothes kind of things. Um and uh, yeah, that that's the only thing they give you, but you can grab additional stuff if you want. They're probably. Am, am I going as an agent? Uh, he's saying you're you um, bring your badge, but don't tell anybody. Only show it if you absolutely have to. Uh, bring your sidearm as well, um, but dress in civilian clothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're going on an oil rig, so they'll give you safety equipment, but don't bring any nice clothes. Obviously, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know why they need you. Um. So. So, what am I going as? Uh, just a civilian contractor. Your your contact is a man named Douglas, um, who runs the oil rig. He's the manager of operations there. Um, and uh, so he's the one that knows I'm coming. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you just do just make him happy. Just do what he wants. We'll get you back off, and that's it. So, uh, are you going to be doing anything? Do you want to make any skill checks or whatever? Mm. Do you need any dice? Actually, I'm going to I'm going to look up this rig. Uh, okay. Uh, with what skill? Because different skills would give you different bureaucracy. Bureaucracy, you could do that. All right, yeah, I do have dice. All right, so while, that, yeah. I'm going to see if I can, if not requisition, you need like dice? personally, yeah, I get dice. Okay. Uh, I'd like to bring a flare gun. Keep that in my toolkit, and uh, yeah. Also check the incoming weather. Okay. I have meteorology. You do. You don't have to make a skill check just to check the weather update. Yeah. That would be like interpreting information to get specific stuff. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out. I'm, are we looking at any kind of storm situation? Oh, uh, you are not in hurricane season, I'll say. Uh, so. Which is strange that there's a category thirty hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know the great hexagon storm of Jupiter? It's like that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's really weird. <laughs> the atmosphere is being disintegrated as we yeah. speak. Uh, so, yeah, eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Uh, so with bureaucracy, uh, you look at the oil rig. It, it was is a decommissioned oil rig, no longer drilling oil. Obviously, uh, it was bought by a holding company, um, and uh, you know, uh, small crew on board. Uh, it's very unusual, uh, but they also have. A uh, research vessel uh, attached to the facility, docked at it, uh, a research vessel, uh, a scientific research vessel that was built in France and then, you know, has been sold to separate company, but it's basically, a you know, an onboard lab. So, okay. um, uh, other than that, it's, there's not a whole lot, you don't have enough time to look up much information, okay. but there's a large ship, like, uh, you know, um, a couple hundred feet or 200 feet long, you know. Uh, fairly substantial ship. So, okay. Um, so weather report. Um, it will be. You are expecting rain, and a small storm. You know, like uh, overnight uh, waves. Um, nothing that the oil rig can't handle, obviously. Uh, but it's going to be unpleasant outside. So I'm being sent with probably a decent kit to bring with. Uh, uh, is there any specialty equipment they know? You don't have to be specific. Just is there anything that looks a little bit off? Uh, you don't know what the, you're supposed to do exactly. Yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out. And it. you're going to be briefed on site, so they don't know what to give you. Gotcha. Uh, but as an, uh, the, you know that this type of oil rig, apparently it's been privately financed and run, a decommissioned oil rig, uh, which is very unusual. The, the uh, so you would guess that they would have to have any kind of equipment or tools that they would need right. on site. But so. definitely do you want to have some of my own tools. But they've got to have their own engineers to, in order to just keep something like that running. So And sneak a flare gun because yeah, you, can put a you never flare. know. It yeah. just seems like it might be helpful. And I'm so not expect, I don't think it? there's going to be tr- – yeah, I don't think there's going to be trouble. But what if I fall over? Sure. If, yeah. I'm not – I'm thinking <laughs> – Yeah. Uh, you also get a whistle. 
uh, whistles are, can be heard from quite a long way. So they're cool. really good to like, hey, I'm over here. Um, so if you follow a red whistle. So uh, any other uh, things? Nope, I think that's... Uh, really a lot of it's going to have to happen on site, so I'm just expecting right. to have to fix things. All right. Um, as you're both heading to the site, uh, both of you get... Uh, well, first off, uh, sorry, what was your character name? Uh, Clay Samford. Clay Sanford? Sam. Samford, okay. Mm-hmm. So Agent Samford, you get a call. Number on that. Well, you're, as you're driving on the site, you get a call. Okay. Hello? What do, you, what do you know about the job? Red Willow. Who's this? It's not what you're going to expect. Uh, I don't know who this is. I'm going to text you a number, and there's a satellite phone in your trunk. Call that number on the satellite phone if you uh, need help. <coughs> don't trust your supervisor. Uh-huh. Who is this again? A friend. Oh, well, Mr. Friend, uh, I'm, I'll take that under advisement. Uh, it's actually using a, a text, uh, sort of a, a speech disguiser. Mm-hmm. Um, just take the satellite phone. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, so when I arrive, I yeah. look in the trunk. Yep. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, give me the check. Helplessness. 35, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's probably just some kind of training mission. Mm-hmm. It's not, no big deal. Um, so, uh, you probably aren't allowed to carry your personal phone on duty. No. Uh, if they, if, okay, if I'm, it just depends on if they would uh, allow me to... Like, okay, in certain situations, you probably these days you could, but if they're going to give me a special phone to contact them with, that might be a thing that what would be given to me by my direct supervisor. Uh, what was your character's name again? Uh, Carla Campisi. I can give the ring, but you probably don't need it. So. Carla Campisi. So, uh, so uh, as you're waiting to, you know, there's a lot of hurry up and wait. Uh, well, yeah. Apparently someone else is coming to, going to be accompanying you there. Okay. Um, so as you're waiting, the phone in the office you're at. No one else is in the office. Rings. Stared at awkwardly for a few rings and then say the name of the whatever office I'm in. Uh, this is uh, Petty Officer Third Class Campisi speaking. Campisi. Yes. Good. Can I help you? May I ask with whom I'm speaking? Um, the bottom of your toolkit. Uh, you will find a satellite phone. Uh, I want you to memorize this number. 555-382-9438. Repeat it back to me. 555-382-9438? Yes. And, um, again, may I ask with whom I'm... To get into trouble, call that number. Okay. Uh, the person you're going to be coming with has also been told the same thing. Uh, they don't know. Don't trust your supervisors. Don't trust anyone on the oil rig. You're going into danger. Um, I don't know what exactly, but people yeah. are missing. Okay. And then it hangs up right Wait. before... I'm currently debating whether to contact my superior officer at this point. <laughs> that's, that's it's a debate, but I, I will decide, I guess, based off of the uh, upcoming events. Um, do you have bureaucracy as a skill? Uh, at thirty, I can try. You can get go and roll. Yabu. seventy-one. No. Okay. <laughs> you know what you know. Do you have law? Uh, do no. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know what you know. What do you want to do? Um, I'm gonna hedge some bets here. Because I, I, I trust Senior Chief Wilson. He surely wouldn't send me into a dangerous situation like that. This is kind of sketchy. But th- that person didn't identify themselves, so I'm just going to have to put this in my report later. Okay. So you're not telling him now? I'm, I, again, my, he, Carl's going to be wrestling with this okay. until, until things start rolling. Are you checking your toolbox? Taking my toolbox, of course. Are you che- so- I'll check it, yeah. I'll check it, make sure, one, my flare gun is... This is probably when I'm stuffing mm-hmm. the flare gun in there, so... Check. Look for a sat phone. There is a sat phone there. Give me a sand check. It's helpless. Look at it really suspiciously. Yeah. All right. Paranoia. Ooh, 61 out of 75. All right. So 
Is that a no one? It's, no, it's fine. Okay. It was a zero one. It was a minor <laughs> thing. It was just, okay. just helplessness. Yeah. Someone got to you and you were like, what yeah, the no, fuck? They dug to my kit. Um, so I'll probably be whatever the other fellow shows up. I'll be digging through my toolbox, making sure nothing is missing. Because, mm-hmm. you know. So I guess you get some heliport at the, on the coast? Uh, it's a Coast Guard base. Hmm. Uh, they have a helipad, you know. They've got search and rescue helicopters. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, there's a, uh, a man there. He, so you tell the, it, as soon as you tell the, the actually the, the gate there is uh, unmanned. Um, so, but it's open. Just uh, walk in. Right, you drive in and park mm-hmm. your car. Um, yeah, you can be your archers check. Nope. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. I have a law. Uh, you can give me a law check, sure. Nope. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Having an unmanned guard post at a... I probably don't know the guard post is unmanned at this point. Yeah, no, you're, you're, you've been in uh, an office waiting. Yeah. Uh, so, the both of you uh, get there, and your supervisor, Wilson, there. Uh, so, all right, so, you can fly to this oil rig. Uh, it's about an uh, hour out, you know, hour and a half uh, out. Okay. And uh, you'll be dropped off. Douglas will uh, tell you what you need to do. Do it. And then uh, Douglas will radio for the helicopter to come back. Uh, so we're being dropped. The helicopter doesn't remain? No. Okay. Uh, and, uh, yeah. All right. Step on board the helicopter. <clears throat> Eyeball. Okay, while we're flying over. Yeah, you've never met each other before. Right? Look over at whatever Tom's character is named. Yeah, first off, you need to introduce yourself. Yeah. Like, he, Wilson doesn't introduce you to um, And Wilson said not to declare my rank it's at any point, right? Yeah. Not even to this guy? He didn't. Did you? Did you ask him? I guess if he's still there, I, I thought he'd already left. So yeah. If he's still, there, um, Master Chief, can I talk to you on the side for a second? Okay. Um, who's this guy? Uh, he's um specialist. Uh, so okay. he'll uh, he'll uh, help take care of things. Okay, and also um. Yeah, now I know I'm supposed to keep this kind of DL-ish. Go to water, board some dudes. <laughs> a bit DL-ish. Do I need to, you know, not mention rank, status? Not, I, I think to him it's okay, but don't not to anyone on the oil rig. Okay. And I had this weird phone call. What? When I have to put it in the report, uh, it just... I didn't know if that was somebody you knew. They didn't identify them. Is it this guy? I'm sorry, what? Well, well, the phone in here rang. Well, what did they say? Did you you answered it? Well, I mean, that's what we're supposed to do if we're. Well, what did they say? What, who, they, who, who, they just said that this was something was weird about this, but I don't know. That might just be a prank call, probably. Do you have human? Um, at ten. All right. What? That's a fifty-eight. Nope. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> it it's fine. Uh, that's it? They didn't say anything else? <laughs> yeah, no. It was just a bunch of crazy talk. I, so out of character, you're not mentioning his that phone? Okay. Because <laughs> uh, that's a weird reaction to have. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just assuming it was either him... I, I wouldn't send you into any place I wouldn't go myself. Okay, no, no. I trust you. All right. Yeah, yeah. thanks, Senior yeah. Chief. Except for this one specific place that I would never, ever go in a million years. <laughs> and, and you're going there, but it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. All right. All right. You're right. It's okay because it's not me. I'm already getting... Kind of, so, so, yeah, uh, Carl's going to be already getting a little bit shifty-eyed and a little bit, what the fuck is going on here? So, you know, nervous. Yeah. Visibly nervous is what I, how I describe it. So Okay. This, well, I guess we're going. Uh, hi. Uh, what's your name? It's like, oh, Clay Sanford. How you doing? Briefly shake hands. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I guessing you. Do you know what's going on here? Um, I'm right. Carla Campisi. Right. Oh, uh, I probably know as much as you do right now. Okay. Did Did you call earlier? Nope. Left my phone. Stare blankly at the at the floor <laughs> for a couple seconds. Okay. No, that that that, that just I was curious. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of a robo voice. You, you sound like you've got more personality than that. So obviously, that was a, that was a that was an odd thing to say. Um, like, okay, hmm, robo voice, huh? Start staring at him. I was like, no, they're they're probably using a voice scrambler. 
well, yeah, yeah. I mean, either that or they were in Skype. So, <laughs> all right. So you're both helicopter guy. Yep. Is this your first time in a helicopter? I'll say no. Not okay. Really. I right. actually have pilot helicopter. Yeah. Well, I was. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not going to be the fl- yeah. one flying it out, but you know, I yeah. just so yeah. yeah. All right. I like you guys. Super, I guess, huh? I guess about. So you should uh, helicopter instead of boat? Uh, I have two pilot options. Okay. So boat and helicopter. All right. Which both make perfect sense. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of like the reason why I chose Sailor for this project, or this image. Anyways, I'm kind of, ah, nice, nice, far as helicopters go. It's a standard issue transport, I mean. No, I've been in some, I've been in some really shitty ones, believe me. Well, I mean, I know that the Coast Guard doesn't always get the Best. So I'm still staring at the kind of leery. Yeah. But the Coast Guard doesn't always get the best. Oh, no, no, I'm talking. That's like, no, the military's always got some good machines. Civilian ones, I think, are pieces of shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like I uh, like took a helicopter tour of Manhattan, of New York one time. Guy was like, I think he had, I think he had, fl- uh, he had just got his license to fly as recently as that morning. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Good. All right. So you continue on. Uh, Nervously clutch my toolkit. Yeah. Uh, eventually, you land at the hello deck of this uh, place. This is where you're going to be at. But you do see there is a large ship docked at the boat dock. Hooray! Does so, it look like any kind of familiar make and model to me? Or well, we know uh, we know it's French. Right? Um, <clears throat> I guess you could roll a pilot boat. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm not looking for like I don't I need to know all the military facts. Just is this to me a familiar vessel? Uh, yeah, I can go and roll. Okay. I'll say for free, it's not a U.S. military vessel. 38 out of 60, so... All right, so you succeed. Uh, it's definitely a civilian ship. Uh, okay. um, you know, it's a uh, European build. Uh, you can tell it was probably a fishing vessel or industrial factory ship, a uh, uh, fishing factory ship that was converted. Uh, you can tell they've added a lot of... Um, uh, there's actually a lot of cables feeding onto it, connected to the oil rig, uh, some mm. for power and some uh, that you actually think... Uh, they have sort of insulated fiber optic cables on it. Wow. Uh, so there might be, uh, you've heard of, uh, you're guessing maybe they have some sort of computer network, uh, linked, uh, between ship and oil rig. That's impressive. Uh, so. yeah, it's very unusual. <clears throat> um, but it looks bit. operational, but, uh, none of the <clears throat> lights are on that you can see in the ship. Uh, okay. you don't see anyone on board the ship. Um, and in fact... Uh, you see there are two men with rifles on top of the helideck sort of watching the ship. Okay, them I'm going to take a closer look at. I'm guessing they're pro- some, some kind of private contractor. I mean... They're just wearing, like, uh, drab blue overalls, standard kind of work outfits. Uh, no logos? No logos. Uh, That's suspect. Uh, and, yeah, everyone on the... Uh, in fact, there's several other people waiting for you there. Uh, two more men with rifles on their back uh, and an older man... Um, who uh, does have a name tag on it? Says, uh, uh, ma- well, the name tag actually doesn't say Douglas. It says management, um, and he sort of waves at you and uh, takes you inside. Uh, you go down to the fourth quarter deck, uh, right below the hell deck, to uh, talk in sort of a break room or sort of a uh, uh, office area. Okay, so we're going to be briefed. You are going to get briefed. <laughs> hey. There is a briefing. Mileage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, then hopefully, and then we won't be killed by two guys trying to replace us. <laughs> and then the briefing will have died with us, as happened with the others. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no. Uh, sit down carefully. Uh, take a look around the place, try and get a feel for what kind of operation I'm looking at. Um, also, what skill do you want to use to assess that? Um, let's go with human. Is probably a terrible choice for me. Um, I'll go with human. All right, you're looking at yeah, Douglas. All right. Nope. Okay. Uh, Everything. He's fine. He's fine. Carlin will actually. Uh, I'm going to attempt to assess what kind of hardware they're running in this place because All right. that can tell you a lot. So let's go, mean, electrician. Yeah, go for it. Yellow. Thirty-two out of sixty. Um. <clears throat> You actually see, yeah, there's a lot of, um, uh, actually, you do see a sign um, and cabling overhead that would not be standard for this kind of oil work. They've added a lot of, like, uh, you recognize Ethernet cables and things hmm. tied to the ceiling, and they're heading down uh, there, and you see uh, D-Center, which you realize, data center. They have a data center on board, hmm. um, which means they're crunching serious numbers 
uh, here. Well, we know this is a research lab. Um, yeah, but... Uh, well, we don't know what kind of research Actually, that actually brings up why is there a research lab offshore like this? This is making... Oh. This, this you know, from an electrical, like, infrastructure point of view, this makes things, like, a hundred times harder than it could be. Um, uh, I was told to ask too many questions, but I will try to put forward, you know... So, um, Douglas? Uh, yeah, I'm Mr. Douglas. I run this uh, oil rig uh, on behalf of New Seed uh, and its investors uh, for Project... Um, or Orin, uh, I guess that's O R R O R R I N. All right. Uh, so what kind of research you do here? Without uh, revealing anything top secret or whatever. Well, you kind of have to know a little of it. Um, DNA synthesizing. Hmm. Um. The the point is um about. Mm, 46 hours ago, almost 48 hours ago, um, we had we have a team of researchers on the ship to conduct um, vitally important research, uh, but they went incommunicado. Uh, I sent uh, three men to go in to check up on them, um, yeah. and one returned, uh, and he had to be sedated. Okay, so... We um, have... Uh, you think there's a hostage situation? No. Um, we, are, so we have sensors on board, safety sensors detect if there's a biological outbreak. There is not. Um, the security cameras themselves are bro- broken down. Uh, we believe that the, 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 those, these are very intelligent... Very neurotic people who have been pinned up in an isolated area for a long period of time. They've had some kind of psychotic breakdown. Um, my understanding is that you are an expert in dealing with psychologically disturbed people, uh, <clears throat> talking them down and that sort of thing. That you are an expert in ship maintenance. Uh, yeah. We simply need you to talk down or to isolate um, <clears throat> any people uh, on board the ship. And then uh, once you have surveyed, gone through the ship, and at least figure it out if they're holed up somewhere, that's fine. Just lock them in the room. I'll bring in the rest of the security staff. I just don't want my um, – there are six people I want you to find out what happened to them and then radio it in and then uh, we'll get you a ride home. All well, right. Okay. Um, is there any special equipment I'll be needing here? Um, you just need to make sure the engines of the ship are working, that it's not critically sabotaged. Uh, that nothing's uh, about to explode or catch on fire. Okay. So you probably need to check the engine rooms. Uh, we're going to have to clean house anyway, rotate, get new staff in here, or do something. But that's not my call. That's not your call. You just go in there, see what the damage is, and um, um, I can't risk any more personnel because we're at a skeleton crew already. Uh, will we have any of those uh, nice fellows with the blue uniforms and the guns? No, we don't have any people. I was actually at hoping there would be more personnel coming. Uh, we requested more than two, but I guess uh, there are limits to the amount of favors we can uh, call on in a short period of time. Well, no, no, we're, we're here to help, I guess. I thought there'd be a third, at least, uh, uh, some sort of security specialist, but I guess yeah, I that <laughs> person had better things to do. Yeah, I heard it was a date night. Yeah. Mm. Oh, way to go, Meta. All right. Um, <laughs> well, I, I guess what I'd like to know then is, um, well, I, I have some minimal training, uh, would it be possible to request some kind of sidearm, maybe? If we're uh, on board do you have a swipe? Uh, I do, but for shit. Um, if we're going to walk on board, I'm pretty sure they're going to disarm us. You, you still have your handgun. I know. I'm, I'm talking like when you get on board the ship. Yellow. Uh, no, that is a no. 62 out of... Uh, <sighs> um, I'm afraid of more firearms going off and they would do more harm than good. Okay. Uh, it's a biology lab. The, the research is extremely vital. The lab is extremely expensive. Um, and I believe the two men that are lost were probably are probably still there. They've just been, um, you D- know... Detained. Detained or... Um, may the staff, some of the staff there can be very persuasive. Uh, maybe they, uh, the staff have, uh, are lying to them or tricking them somehow. Okay. All right. Well, we'll go aboard and see what we can do. But... Uh, hmm. Can't make can't make guarantees until I know until I get a handle on the situation. There are the, I would appreciate it if you can find my staff, but the the six people that I have been asked to keep track of, uh, 
Dr. Allison Burke. She is the head of research for Ororan. Um, Elsa Ketterer. Uh, Ketterer. Uh, Dr. Randall Holliday. Uh, Darlene Lopez. Uh, and Dr. Chad Sperry. Am I going too fast? No, that's fine. All right, Dr. Vivian uh, Adam. Vivian, is a man's or a woman's name? A uh, woman. Vivian. Make sure. No, that's, yeah. that's also a guy's name. So. All right. Okay. So, if you could find out... Okay, so I guess we need to look into getting on there. Uh, yeah, uh, my uh, men will lead you get there. They they will provide Overwatch if someone attacks you. Just get on uh, surface on, or on on top deck, and they they can uh, cover you. They know that you are. I'm gonna ask a tiny favor just in case, because um, I don't think there, there's there's a small storm brewing. I just you never know. Things do get a little bit a little bit weird, and just in case things do go. Um, are there escape vessels on this? Ship? Yeah. Okay. Well, not standard, on the ship, on the oil rig. Life, standard lifeboats. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, lifeboats on the ship proper? On the ship? No. Ah. They have been removed. I'm guessing lugging one with us isn't going to be permitted. No. Not on, not on board the ship. Nothing. Okay. I thought I'd make sure. Due to the nature of the research, it was, uh, they were, were removed. You can make a law check. <laughs> That's totally fucking illegal. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Common sense dictates to my character this is totally not cool. Yeah. Uh, that's why I Something's asked. Like, not, this is a way fucked up situation. <laughs> uh, can, can I roll a law to maybe see uh, what kind of, you know, is this, what kind of research would require that would necessitate an entire offshore platform? Uh, sure. The type they won't even let you do in Germany. No. I, I failed just about every roll I made. All right. Uh, no, but yeah, I looked down at my dinky little life. You get, well, for free, you do get something. What's your lot? 50. 50? Uh, for free, I'll say, um, <laughs> first thing is nothing legal. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, you're guessing, yeah, for free, yeah. This, biological this is, research of some kind? Uh, well, the, they said it's biological research, but whatever this is, this is high. Well, I heard, like, like, DNA synthesis or, like, yeah. I think like, probably biological warfare. Uh, yeah, which would be a... Super illegal. Yeah, like Geneva Convention, like... Before we go... Hey, one more thing. Yeah. Are we going to need a breathing apparatus at any point? Like, Put into our safety sensors now. Just want to make sure... Is it possible to get issued just like a minor one? Uh, sure. Uh, gas mask, yeah. essentially, yeah. Gas so mask. Bi- biological grade. It's a scrubber. fire safety one. So. Uh, it'll have to do. Yeah. So... Basic gas mask. Okay. Do you want one too? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, Sanford? Yeah. Yes, that'd be fine. Comes on a little like a uh, uh, satchel bag, kind of a messenger bag kind of thing. So Yeah. And just, you know, if it's got something to hook on, hook on or just like drape over, yeah, no, I'll carry it with because yeah. uh, we're going into a biologically affected area. I want at least a minimum if they're not going to allow us. We're going to do us all the, um, all the, uh, there, there's no biological hazard. You know, again, things can get weird, so I just want to make sure we're prepared. Yeah. All right. All right let's go. All right. So uh, an armed man mm-hmm. escorts you back uh, to the holodeck, and then down these multiple, this long staircase down yep. to the boat dock. The long, grating, grated uh, staircase. You are not disarmed. No one asks to look at your stuff. Okay. So. All right. Um, yeah. So, uh, you get on board the ship. Uh, you're on the deck. Uh, As we're, I guess we're going to approach the first... Uh... Well, you, since you're a pilot boat, you know, um, you can see the bridge. Um, the lights are off. No one's in it, as far as you can see, unless they're you know hiding under it. That would be a good place to start. Um, you know, this kind of place would have uh, a couple stairwells, you know, down it have multiple decks... Yeah. Um, so yeah, once you get in, you know the the standard. Con- you're guessing if this is research ship, and uh, uh, you're guessing the biggest interior center space is where they they put the lab. Okay. Um, and, but there'd also be you know sleeping quarters, uh, a mess hall, uh, crew space. Yeah, in, in crew space, uh, engine, 
uh, room. So, yeah, if you want to start at the bridge, you can I'll start at the bridge. Just look. Okay, Sanford, I don't know what your specialty is. Hey. Oh, uh, HR. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> as if this isn't weird enough. Okay, listen. I'll be honest. And maybe you'll do the same. No. Um, sure. Uh, speaking of that, I'm in the Coast Guard. My specialty is ship maintenance. I'm mainly an electrician, but also a mechanic. Hmm. So, uh, uh, are you... What kind of specialist are HR. you? HR. Puff and stuff. Okay. <laughs> well, well I, I know people. That, I guess that'll people be and the, thi- the People and the things they do. You know, you're, you're getting really dark here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So, uh, what can you tell me, tell me about the bridge? What's the situ- <sighs> situation here? Right, I was so going to propose the walk- search pattern as we start with the bridge, go to the crew, mm-hmm. uh, go to the crew quarters. Mm-hmm. From there, see if we can find an access in the back towards the engine room and do the labs last. I don't like that. The labs. That biological stuff is not cool. <laughs> they made us do drills. Oh, this, oh, it's probably super... Oh, this is probably super mega illegal, whatever they're doing here. Yeah, probably. But, and a lot of data cords, things like that. Okay. But it's not my job. Okay, your job's to deal with people. So if I suspect there's people, I can send you first. Wink, wink, right? You're a really, prof- you're a really interesting way of talking, you know that? <laughs> <sighs> I give up. So are you going in the bridge? Let's go see what we can fix or find. Go right. start with the bridge. All right, you go to the bridge. Uh, you have to unseal the hatch, but, you know, it's just, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and, yeah, the bridge is dark, but the, the power is clearly on. The lights are still on. The consoles are still lit. I'll check the consoles, see if there's any information I can pull off that to say what the hell is going the on. The status here. of the ship vessel itself. Um, yeah, the... the uh, you don't have to get technical. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to get technical. Nothing seems to be... Uh, secure. There is a little thing for security cameras. Oh. You flip through them, and most of them, uh, except for the lab... Uh, are broken. The lab you see, uh, you see, uh, get, you get an idea of the ship. The lab is like two lo- levels below you, uh, and you see there's a large biology lab. There are cages, uh, and you see a large rat sort of on a little exercise wheel in there. Stare at it, Harvey. Uh, there's something, so some sort of some, some sort of apparatus, at the top of his cage. Huh. That's it. It is uh, you do with people, not rats. I'm guessing you don't know what that is either. Um, looks like a rat on an exercise wheel, but yeah. But uh, otherwise, I couldn't give you any details. No. Okay. Well, if he says I was once a man, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Okay. <laughs> uh, if that happens, I'll join you. <laughs> okay. Well, the, the the part that we should be worried about is that all the security cameras in a completely wired for sound and video arrangement are inaccessible from the bridge. They're off. Well, if this was an illegal laboratory, probably the people on the bridge would not would have a need to know basis. I've looked back at the monitors. Were they supposed to be off or supposed to be on? They're supposed to be on. I was like, no, they're supposed to be on. No. Oh. Well, like I said they wouldn't have sent us out here if suddenly everything was normal. Well, I'm just like giving you a heads up because you might want to know that. Like, no, I like somebody's it. hiding something above the corporate level, like on the directly attained. Oh, I'm pretty sure. That, oh, I'm pretty sure they're hiding a great deal of things here. No, I, I mean, I mean, somebody. Never mind. Okay, let's just let's just. Let's try I get what you're saying. Like, like not not the company. Like whoever is on the hiding on the ship. Mm. Probably. Oh, are you going to search? Uh, I guess you could search for clues. If you're yeah. Search still. Yeah. We both doing this or no? If you want to. Yeah. What? Ought two on a forty. Okay. Oh, good. You find something. Um. Uh, yeah. Oh, I found the contact team. Oh. Uh, it's actually supposed to be Ivan Petrovich, but we'll, oh, sorry. we'll, we'll keep with Douglas. I like Douglas as a cool name. Uh, yeah. Oh, God, that was from something. Uh, it was? Actually, yeah, the very first Metal Gear game. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. On it the was, NES. It was the most Russian name I could think of. Hey, Ivan is an awesome name. Okay. It is an awesome name. So I like Vasily, too. <laughs> uh, let's see here. There are... Um, there's a little uh, something r- scratched into the bottom of the console. Uh, it says "Hail Lazarus." Hmm. Um, I'm actually going to do something a little bit. Un- it sounds unusual, but I'm getting this weird f- feeling off this. I want to find some scratch paper mm-hmm. and a little bit of uh, like almost like more like probably, it's probably some kind of drafting pencil or something I can make mm-hmm. marks on them inside sure. the ship. So a little bit of scratch paper. If I can find some around, not use my own, great. If not, like an old receipt that I forgot to take out of my sure. pocket or something. I'm going to make a rubbing of it. You do? Hail Lazarus. Mm-hmm. All right. 
Okay. Um, I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to show Sanford and watch his face. All right. Because he's here for human resources. All right. He deals with people. Criminology. To figure out what. I know. Just I don't know. Actually, I'm just like, hey, Lazarus. I mean, I, I know the story of Lazarus. Could be that some, uh, you yeah. know, could be just, you yeah, know, could mean something. Could just be the random scribblings of a deranged mind. Uh, yeah, you can get me wrong if you want. Okay. How deranged are they? How off is the... Yeah. 66, critical success. <laughs> um, you right. actually, with this... Um, the way you know about uh, these things, it's probably maybe it's a reference to a code name, uh-huh. uh, some something specific to this project. Uh, often these kind of top secret things rely on a lot of code names and acronyms mm-hmm. and things like that. So if you ask if that would be a good word to ask people who are related to this project, okay, so. I'll, I'll scribble a mental note of that. Don't okay. guess the H is for horse. Well, I mean, you don't know if it's hail, if it's that, if it's yeah, you don't know if it's Lazarus or hail, Lazarus or just hail, yeah. So I was just Carly and Carrie, yeah. like trying to lighten the mood because she's nervous as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it's probably something to do with horses, I'm sure. Uh, so where do you want to go next? Crew quarters. Check the because uh, the crew quarters should still be relatively high in the deck structure. Um, <laughs> they're probably going to be behind behind the bridge area. I'm guessing not near the hold. Um, which, uh, they've actually been moved. Uh, oh. They're below the lab. Oh, below the lab? Yeah. Shit. So I guess let's head to the lab. Uh, first the... floor is uh, storage and maintenance and things like that. Okay, well, why don't we check there first? Okay. I, right. I just really want to wait a little bit on this lab situation. It does not <laughs> thrill me. Well, you can go by the lab. You can skip a lot. I mean, yeah. technically speaking, I mean, we, uh, there is a mess hall on the first floor, though. We'll check, we'll check that. That's, that's part of like, right. the crew thing. Yeah, yeah, just trying. All right. So, uh, you, are you in a mess hall or you're looking at the other rooms? All right. So, you two walk down. Uh, both of you can give me alertness checks. You got a 43. 21 out of 60. So. Okay, so you both made it. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. <sighs> um, you do hear sounds uh, coming up ahead. Uh like metal scraping on plastic or something like that. Uh, so I go, I'm just sure. No, this is your thing. This, I knew it. <laughs> it's like, it's like, so I wait for the guy with the, who just pulled a gun to move That's, forward. Yeah. Yeah. Down, but yeah. Yeah. He still uh, pulled. I'll try to sneak. Okay. Sneak. Two off. 32 out of 30. I'm not a quiet person. Okay. Uh, the person doesn't, there's no immediate reaction. You, you head up, you see a woman. Uh, she's sitting down eating food at a Just cafeteria chair. Sort of half in, the, the emergency lights are on. But. Uh, excuse me, uh, ma'am. She Al- looks up. Almost comically oh, peeking around the corner of the pool. hello. Hey. Good morning. Actually, Good morning. What time, what time is it? Is it morning? Uh, by now it's mid-afternoon. It's like, afternoon, ma'am. Oh, is it afternoon already? Like, time does fly, doesn't it? It does. It does. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Uh, Burke. Uh, Dr. Allison Burke. I'm um, head of research here. I see. Uh, I was just uh, getting a quick meal. Yeah. Um, well, right. well, we've been sent over to uh, make sure everything's okay. Oh, yeah. Corporate. They, yeah, your uh, cameras look kind of broken. Oh, well. Do we need to fix them? Jangle the toolkit a little bit. It kind of disturbs the work. I, some, of our, some of our people have gotten a little uh, sensitive about being observed. Okay, no, no, I understand. Yeah. Uh, have you been oriented uh, about the project? I mean, yeah, are you? Yeah, you're, yeah, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Boy, what was I thinking? I should have, well, just, oh, man. Just, uh, well, yeah, don't work, work too hard. Uh, keep, uh, keep looking at Sanford thinking, oh, fuck, is, yeah. is there something I'm, I'm missing here? Cause, yeah. yeah. Look, um, look we, did, we just came in to make sure everything is going on. We got to, uh, so is there anything going on we should know about? Oh, there's a lot. We're making a lot of progress. Uh, oh, good. Progress um, is good. And uh, we're doing really well, I think. Um, I think that... Yeah, I can't think of any... I mean, we're just... We're all really focused. Um, maybe if we got some... I, I, You know, if you could you put a word in for some new provisions? I, I think we need a, a couple of... New items. Uh, are, are, I don't want to do, you know, feature mission creep. That's I, a, that's I will, a, that's I will actually just, you know, put yeah. that back. Just, okay. Just, 
Well, uh... Oh, yeah, you, can, you both give me He-Man checks. I'm not gonna do very well. Eight. All right. Eight. 88. Crit fail. She's normal. She's fine. Like, okay. You're calm. You feel better. I, I guess everything's... Cool. She's Everything. calm, so you're calm. Everything's good. Everything's great. Uh, I got eight. Okay. She saw your gun and didn't react. Like it, it might as well have been a uh, uh, a mug of coffee. <laughs> yes. uh, well, uh, if you yeah, um, actually, I'll flip out my notepad. So, uh, so, what kind of stuff do you think you need? Uh, some really strong chain with a winch. Um, we mm-hmm. need maybe some. Um, Glow sticks. Glow sticks would be useful. Glow sticks. Um, yeah, maybe. Um, I'm not a cartographer, but uh, maybe some surveying equipment. Could we get a cartographer? I mean, that that's. I mean, getting. I know getting new personnel is. Uh, well, I mean, the best, the most we could. Yeah, we we, we could put I'm the request to. I'm going to have the yeah. you know the toolkit at my feet. I'm going to actually notepad or something. Start yeah. writing this down and with. I'm not examining her. I'm examining her requests. Yeah, like. What would she need all this shit for on this ship? <laughs> like, well, here's the thing. Um, this like this is an official. Oh, and maybe some livestock, some larger test subjects. Um, yeah. Oh, like uh, how big? Like you like pigs enough, or would you need pigs? To would be good. I, you know, for one, for one, right? what would be I ideal? think a deer would be really good. Um, like. No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay. Uh, that not, might be hard to get. Well, um, I mean, this is an official inspection to determine whether new supplies will come. So I need to get a look at the labs before I can make that determination. I can put that down on my list, though, of things that you need. Uh-huh. But I need to I need to check the labs. Uh, okay. Um... I mean, yeah, like, I'm sure. Uh, she just, uh, she actually just starts scooping the food up and eats it in her hands, um, and like, glance back at Sanford to watch his reaction. Yeah. I'm, I'm, just like, I'm, just, I'm like, I'm like, I'm basically kind of, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, like just, mm-hmm, like I'm, I'll make like just like, mm-hmm. um, yeah, uh, we're kind of, we're almost progressed beyond the need for the lab at this point. Uh, I mean, it's still useful to make uh, the different. Uh, I mean, we, we don't. We call them the test uh, formulas, but they're really not even tested formulas. We really, I think we really. I think we. I don't want to say we fractured them. That you know, knock on. Well, there's no wood around it. But anyway, you know what I mean. Like we're really, we're really close, and I think it's more just a learning how to use them once they we well, check Well, it sounds good. Uh, yeah. I, I'd like to have a look if I could. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, so she's just looking at her fingers, uh, just like, starts like, walking So, uh, like, you. I, I mean, obviously I understand secrecy, but uh, tell me what you do. Tell me a little bit about what you do here. Um, well, we're on a project. Uh, oh, man, you really are new. Um, like, was it uh, Lazarus? Oh, Lazarus. Oh, so yeah, we got some breathing. Yeah, Lazarus. <laughs> Um, oh, here I'll I'll, I'll, um, I'll well, let's walk. I'll let's, show you Lazarus himself. Let's, let's walk and talk. As we're walking, I am checking any kind of gear, taking a look at the cameras. Were they just simply deactivated or were they damaged? They were uh, smashed. Smashed cameras. That's that's an important detail for me. No. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like trying to make small talk at the same time. Yeah, actually, violently smashed. Like, you know, Hulk smashed. Something like pierced the lens. Like they're so, in the secure housing and like so, a waterproof housing, and something oh, pierced it. Wow, that's a lot of force and doesn't. Probably doesn't look like a bullet. I'm guessing. It's definitely not a bullet. Okay. As we go, I mean, like it's like I like walking and talking. You know, yeah. I, I could watch almost an entire movie that was mostly walking and talking. Well, maybe some action at the beginning and end. Oh sure, uh, definitely that. So yeah, tell me, tell us about what you do here. What? What? What is that? What is that? What's what? Ah, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. What was that? What was it? What, what you say? What you were? About, what you just said? Like walking and talking? No. Well, after that, a movie. My, uh, what is that? What is that? What is that? What is Motion picture. Motion picture. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, I guess that. Forgot. Yeah. Uh, 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 well, let's show you Lazarus. Okay. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's take a yeah. look. See. I can keep looking at any kind of. Uh, any effects on the carriage? Is there any other da- other damage along the way? Uh, no, any no, not too much. Cables, yeah. things like that. Uh, yeah, give me alertness. Okay. So just just alertness. Yeah. Yeah. So how's your staff situation? Ooh, Fifty-eight out of sixty. Um, let's see. You do see there are a lot of uh, scrapings and uh, unusual amount of wear and tear along the lower edge and the ceiling too. Actually. Um, 
Yeah, it kind of draws your attention. And I'm guessing the lady, lady whose lineage will not notice just me getting slowly more wide-eyed as I look at it. Yeah. Nudge. Yeah, Sam you're Ford, not really kind sure. Of, kind of, kind of indicating. Yeah, you can point, get to point at the ceiling a little bit. No, nope, crit fail. All right, well. You're too busy talking. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, what was the question again? I guess, what's your staff situation here? Uh, well... There, I, I, there's been some turnover. Oh, I really should tell corporate about the turnover. Yeah, well, uh, actually, uh, I, that's what I've been, another thing I've been saying here to look after. We lost them, but got some new members. Uh, they're they're kind of working remote, um, so it's uh, it's complicated. But they're really efficient. Uh, well, it's it, we didn't really lose people. It's kind of an exchange program. I don't know. It's hard to let let's show you Lazarus. I, I'm sorry, I get really distracted. It's hard for me to focus on one. Yes, let's take a, yes, yeah. let's take a look. So she walks down the stairwell to the next level mm-hmm. uh, to the lab. Uh, she opens up the hatch, and it's a large. You've already seen the lab, so it's, yeah. it's there. But there is a uh, there's a lot of DNA sequencers, DNA synthesizers. Um, so you know, in general, the overview of it um, was basically um, since. 2010, we've been able to use DNA synthesizers to encode um, words uh, into DNA itself. Um, and this was mostly done for watermarking purposes, for, you know... I think uh, I've, 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 real life, I've actually read about this. So I'll yeah. say, oh yeah, I think I've heard about that. Yeah. So, for watermarking for, you know, genetically modified organisms, blah, blah, blah. So, um, but recently, uh, you know, certain... Um, there's... <sighs> You heard the term hypergeometry, and that's kind of a misnomer, but that's sort of the only thing uh, described. But anyways, certain phonetic, um, certain uh, patterns of information um, actually cause sympathetic reverberations in the greater physical laws of the universe. And uh, now normally this is done through a phonetic system, uh, through vocalization. But, 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 uh, our research was to determine if this would be simpatico with DNA synthesizing. Could we take these patterns and encode them into DNA? And would the similar effect happen? Um, this is a uh, part of a uh, 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 cookbook of, uh, of uh, uh, the uh, a lot of uh, those derivative projects. I mean, the Outlook Group. Um, uh, you know, thing, things things like that. Um, but we uh, we made some breakthroughs, and it started with Lazarus over there. You see that little guy? And you see a big white, you know, lab rat. Is it the same rat we yep. saw earlier? Okay. I mean, it looks like him. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can't tell rats apart, really. Lean slowly a little bit closer to the cage. Give me alertness check. Plus ten. Yeah. Uh, made it. All right. There's uh, underneath the little wooden shavings and things that they have in the cage. Uh, you see, like, viscera, like bits of bone and uh, dr- blood matted fur and things like that. So, uh, what are you feeding Lazarus? Oh, just whatever. Uh, but here's the thing. So you see that apparatus on there? Do you want to you want to push that button up at the top? Uh, I'm I'm okay without doing that. Hand brushes over the uh, gas mask for a yeah. second, like I'm okay. I'm just here to fix things. Oh no, don't worry. Uh, oh okay. Uh, do you want to push it? No, go ahead. Uh, you're, I, don't, you're, I don't want to mess anything. Oh uh, okay. Mm-hmm. He pushes it. Uh, the apparatus and pops open, and uh, a blade uh, just swoops down. Or actually, uh, like a whole row of blades. It's basically a saw trap, but uh, there's no way for the poor Lazarus to dodge out of the way. No. He is eviscerated, uh, and, you know... Uh, I'll let a tiny yelp. Sand checks for both of you. Uh, yep. What? Yeah, I aced it. All right. Uh, it's very shocking. Is that? I'm still going to yelp a bit, even though it says I'm unflinching. Cause... Yeah. Okay, so, um, you know, this is the first one. And now watch. Uh, the You watch for a moment. You just watch. It, and you see a uh, <laughs> tissue strand uh, sort of leap out of one section to the next section. And then more. And then it's just like it starts. Lazarus starts stitching itself back together again. So give me more sand checks. Yeah, six. Fourteen. Uh, one. I, one sand. I will still say, oh god, I've seen this movie. <laughs> no, this wasn't... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember now. We're a bit far I'm... north for that, aren't we? Um, yeah, so... 
Uh, Lazarus, that's the, that's, yeah, and so we named that, that, that formula Lazarus after Lazarus, uh, and it's really successful, so we've also worked on Hermes and Kronos, uh, I'm still kind of staring blankly with my yeah. mouth open at this mm-hmm. process, because, so it's been shit. really successful now, and, uh, we're making good works, um, the only, the only, the only naysayer has been, oh, if you're, you, are you, like, an HR kind of person, yeah, that's yes, that's what I do. Could you talk to Elsa? She's really been a drag on team morale, and she's been really vocal about her criti- criticizing. She's done really good work translating and setting up the phonetic system so we could take the patterns and turn them into uh, DNA. Uh, uh, sure, I could speak. She's probably down in her room. Um, she's got all the little. Uh, yeah, well, they look like stars to you, but you know uh, that she kind of painted on uh, the thing. Uh, they're not. Don't don't worry about. It. They won't affect you. Um, so maybe you could talk to her. That would be great. Um, did you have any other questions? I mean, uh, where's the rest of the personnel? Oh, working. Uh, well, we're at the. Um, do you want to see the? Oh, the 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 test site. Uh, the new site. Yeah. Um, where's that? Oh well, we can we can go down there. Uh, well, yes. Let's see everything first, and then I'll go talk to yeah. what was her name again? Uh, sure? Elsa. Elsa. Ketter. Yeah, sure. Maybe we should talk to Ketter. Elsa because Miss Miss Ketter sounds like she's got a very important role to play. Well, she did, but she's been very unproductive, <clears throat> and she hasn't given me any new formula uh, 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 things to to well, turn yeah. into a formula. Let's, now let's see what like after Corona, she was just adamant about not doing anything. Like, but she's still working. She's still taking these. I mean, she's doing something. I mean, she's she's loitering or uh, malingering. Yeah. Well, I'll say I'm kind of doing the same. Let's see what we're dealing with, and then we'll. Uh. <laughs> yes. as, we're, as we're walking, if she's idly chattering, I'm just gonna. Sanford, do you, I'm guessing Lazarus. Uh, that that that's what we just saw. We Curse. did just. Yes, we did. Is that like a Doctor Who reference or something? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know either. <laughs> uh, both of you and me learn this stuff. Look. Yep. Hot seven. All right. You both hear something coming as you leave the lab. Uh, uh, let's see here. Doctor Burke heads towards the stairwell, but behind you, uh, you hear something. You know, some bit of metal skittering away in the dark. Like, hey, did something get loose? Oh, well, that's probably just another worker. It's okay, else. it's fine. Probably. Clutch the tool kit a little. I just like I actually put. Yeah, that's bad. Um, so she goes downstairs. Uh, you you two are following her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then you pass by. Uh, there's one hatch that she comes to, and there's like uh, a. Uh, tank and uh, a welding torch set up there, and the the, the hatch has been sealed. Shut. It's like, oh yeah, I forgot. Um, they sealed it up. They sealed the side up. Uh, well, I mean the door. I mean, can you unweld this, and then we can go talk to the other people? Uh, there is a little porthole, so you could look in if you want to see what they're. I'm first going to see how recently this was sealed. Uh, I mean, it's cool to the touch, so probably a day ago or okay. more. Yeah, I'll, I'm just I'll, trying to get an idea. I'll of look how. in. All right, give me a sand check. Nope. All right. Wow, this this was just sealed up. Uh, five. Fight, flight, or panic. Fight, flight, or freeze. Freeze. All right, you freeze as yeah. This is this is recent, Sanford. Uh, so he freezes as he um, you see an octopus that's been just imagine an octopus that's been stretched out into a rectangular shape and sort of fused with the wall and then there's just this glowing blue mist coming out from the rectangle uh, and the octopus is sort of twitches over and looks at you uh, and you see a human eye just kind of floating in this bulbous head and you just kind of step back eyes wide open in horror I'm looking at Samford not over my shoulder S- Samford you okay now? oh yeah that happens um, I can give him a shot of something. Let me look. What do I have? I, I, no, I think, no, I think he'll Saturn? be fine. Don't, don't, uh, don't worry. Steel? I'll, 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 well, um, I well. think he just needs he, he just needs a powder. Oh, Kronos. That would be a good one. Let's avoid biological agents randomly being No, scattered. Kronos, like, you can... That, there's another... Like, that's Site B, but there's a Site C, and you can go to Site C and talk to people, and they're very nice. Anyway, so, yeah. Um, again, I'm like... I'm not looking at my shoulder. I'm not looking at my It's not a metagame. It's an honest character going, yeah. oh, fuck this. No, 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 no. Yeah. So I'm just, you know, can we just reconvene after a moment uh, while I kind of get Sanford back, you know? Oh. Um, 
Oh, yeah, I forget people... People take time to get used to this. You'll get used to it. Sure. I mean, you're here now. And you're staying. Right about that. I'm supposed to, at some point, go report back. (laughs) Well, you can use a phone or something. Um, Hey, don't worry. I have plenty of things to do. Don't, don't, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm... I'm going to go do some work. She just walks off. Pull Samford away from Creepy Window? Yep. Slap. All right. You you recover? Uh, uh, uh. I'm not looking there. What the... F- no, don't, don't tell me. I don't want... Th- no, it's probably disgusting and, like, doing whatever Lazarus did. That... that. Um, it's worse than that. Okay. I don't know if you caught everything she just said. About That's it. Us not leaving. <laughs> about us not leaving. Oh, you have one too. <laughs> you too? If you're gonna call, I'll let you make. You Clay, make Sanford, call. Yeah. Clay Sanford, FBI. How you doing? Finally, you're honest with me. Okay. <laughs> pop, sit down, pop open the. Uh, yeah, no, I really am from the Coast Guard. Um, okay. This, I'm a, I called open. the number I was texting. Okay. Uh, While he's calling, I put my flare gun in a pocket now, <laughs> so it's more accessible. Sure. Uh, not that it's gonna help much, but hey, why not? Uh, it's a small same gun. voice scrambled. Um, it's kind of distant because uh, you're actually pretty below, you know, far under the ship, so you're not getting a great signal. Uh, but it says, "This is um, hello." Uh, this is Clay Sanford. What is your status? The status is not. I don't know. There's something on board this ship that. Uh, Something's affected the entire crew. Uh, and I describe as much as best as I can what I saw. You tell me role play. Like, there's... Because she... Because shots yeah, no, to hear it. I, I, exactly. It's, it's, like, it's, the it's like there was some kind of octopus down there, but it was like stretched into a square or rectangle shape. And it was then like, it comes to you like a door. Yeah, like, yeah like, it was like a door... There's like blue mist coming out of it. Yeah. And, uh, the time of the Sanchez, there was so. a, but what I knew was coming. And there was a, it had a human eye. Yellow. Yeah, Sixteen. I made it, but I'm still like I, I guess I get some kind of damage on. The, the fuck are they doing in here? People paid money to have this happen. What do you think? People paid have favors and influence. They mentioned um, uh, cookbook or. Uh, Tell them, the, tell them the part about the, her saying what we're not What do you want to do about this, uh, Agent Stanford? Stanford. Whatever they're doing here can't get off the ship. Okay. That's a start. Now, in order to make that happen, and for you to come back in one piece, uh, certain things have to happen. It's going to be difficult. What? Well, what? Um... You're going to have to uh, find the data and sabotage it. Uh, if uh, the data, find out wherever it is and make sure that the research can't be replicated. They don't have a link to the outside world. They can't upload it to the internet or anything. But I think once they get the all clear from you, they're going to send in more people to take the data somewhere else and restart somewhere that can't happen. So find the data and destroy it. That's your first step. Make sure that and make sure no one knows it's you. And after that, after that, once you've done that, I'll uh, secure. You're just viewed as pawns right now, so you can be blamed for being ignorant about things. So I'll call. So, so once you've told me, let me know that I'll put things into motion to have things happen. Uh, and you will have an, uh, a clean out. Uh, she said so, uh, something else. There was another doctor here that was not going along with it, locked, in her, locked into her room. Okay. Mentioning drawing stars all over the walls. Tell them about the, not, us not leaving part? Did, did you tell them that part yet? And they said, yeah, they did say we're not leaving. Yeah, I assume you want to leave. Absolutely. All right. Well, maybe uh, if you think this doctor might be helpful, 
Maybe the doctor knows where the data is. Well, it's a, it's a like, yeah, it's that's gonna be a first step. All right, yeah, we'll do it. Okay. After the phone hangs up in the background, maybe they've got thermite grenades somewhere on here. I mean, that's, you're always supposed to drop those things for data scrubbing. I mean, seriously. What? Well, for free, you realize they have a data center that's looked at, hink, uh, hooked to the oil rig. Your options are either to use that th- or find thermite and use it in the data center on the oil rig where the armed men are. Yeah. Or if you add someone who is good at computers, that this this assumes the ship is still linked to that data center. So someone could write a virus to delete the data from the dinner s- data center here. Can PC doesn't do computers? Oh right? yeah, she's but like, probably she one of these scientists or engineers. Or yeah. Did, you know, I actually, when we went about it, it was that security specialist that didn't show up. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking guy. <laughs> I, I don't remember if that uh, Fujin has that or not. <laughs> Sorry. A 20. Oh, he would have sucked it. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go find this other side. All right. I, mean, I, I right. guess if you just break all the stuff that's on the ship for the storage, surely it's not, like, cloudy or floaty or whatever they call that. I don't know. I'm not IT, okay? No. So. I told you I handle people. Let's go talk to Ketterer. Mm hmm. All right, so uh, find a. Uh, it's on this level. I have to do it. Yeah. Elsa. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you find a room with a bunch of uh, weird stars drawn over it, uh, painted on it. Right. Um, and you say that, and it says. You hear a voice come in. I even do the knock specifically to one to see if she's aware of recent pop culture because I noticed that what's her name uh, Burke wasn't terribly aware of recent history pop mm-hmm. culture stuff. Uh, also, wait, you're not you're not one of them, are you? We're from the outside. Which then do you mean? Okay, get in here. She undoes the hatch. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I actually rush the fuck in. Yeah. But yeah. She closes it behind you. Are you okay? Like, they, they didn't inject anything in you? I checked. She, she really wanted to put Cronus, whatever that is. Is that a Doctor Who thing? No, that's the worst. You don't want to do that. It takes you. Um, <laughs> Tell us what's going on. We're. She. she uh, you look on her in her little room. There's uh, numerous tablets, a uh, laptop, and several books, and a huge stack of photocopies, uh, or it looks like photos of old books. Uh, huh. Pages from old books uh, and like numerous notes. Um, look, um, I there's 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 entire systems of knowledge that are beyond what that 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 might as well be magic, but they they're real and they work. I believe that for what I just saw. I, I'm well. That makes a little bit more sense than some of the. Is that a door viewing. in there? Uh, yeah, that's a, that's that's the only. Yeah, that, the word is not in English, but that's the closest. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Um, so so these these systems of knowledge. It's like it, it, it. Now I can see it's like it, 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 it's it's cancerous. It's dangerous to the human mind. But uh, so whenever we we learn it or we come into contact with it, it, it destroys us. But because our, our our ability to gather and collect data is so much better now, we're able to to collate uh, and correlate the contents. And so people with money and power know that this system of knowledge exists and they want to exploit it like everything else, but they can't handle it. Um, and this is just one of it, their attempts to do it. And, um, well, let, let, but I'm going to turn the tables on them. Uh, so let's, let's brass tacks here. You, you really want to, I'm guessing you're not too pleased with this place. No, we've kind of been asked to one investigate a little bit. And I guess we just got told, are you good with computers? No, not really. Do you know who it is? I'm a translator. I translate uh, 15th century uh, medieval texts I- into English. Uh, into okay, that's do you know, Is there anyone anyone here that could do that? Is good and still there? Um, Vivian, Darlene, um, Chad, um, 
or not Chad, uh, but Randall, uh, the, the, any of, anyone but Chad, really. Chad was the terrible guy with the computers. Uh, I guess Burke, I, well, I don't know. She just ordered people around. Uh, uh, well, uh, is there anybody who was good with computers um, look, that will agree with you? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I have it. Look, you don't get it. We can fight fire with fire. I, I, we, we can we use just, this system of knowledge to just level every, take everything out at once. We were just going to destroy the information and get the hell out of here because this is freaking me out. No, what I, I, we can, we can, we can do more than that. There's, um, look, I, I found a way that we can get rid of everything at once. Um, and, uh, we, we just, if we get on a boat, we get far away enough, we're fine. Um, but yeah, you can be human, check. No. Okay. If I try it, yeah. it's almost near to another word, but let's try it. All right. 39? No. Yeah. No idea. So, um... I don't know if I like this idea. Um, Sanford? Like, look, the person... Like, we have a way out. Like, we have a way off of here. We have no, help. you don't. They're not going to let you leave. You're, you, uh, you know, look, um... Uh, uh, you, so you're not going to help me? Like, well, look, we need to destroy the data. I'll and destroy I, the data. Like, and then we like, and then once that's done, we'll be extracted. Uh, well, look, my way is faster and better, and, and it's more thorough. What? Do, what's your way? You, you, you just have to trust me. I, I need to know. I need to know a little bit about this before I agree. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I do. I do make it. Okay. Uh, by how much? Three. Three. Um. Like I said, there's 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 a way to use the system knowledge to 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 do things that you want to happen. Yes. So using what they have down there, in in a way, a different a different application. How is that any better than what they're doing? Because it, it'll wipe it all out. Is there anything unusual about the structure of a room? Uh, outside of the fact that she's painted a bunch of stars and shit in it, and, and, and it's probably, totally cluttered with books and information yeah, I mean, and, and knowledge. Um, wiring? Anything notable? Like, is, is there a lot of data access in this room? Uh, no. Hmm. I mean, there's tablets and lap, a laptop. Uh, How's the Wi-Fi in here? Oh, they don't use Wi-Fi. It's all hardpoint stuff. Uh, okay. Cables. That's that's what I was seeing. I was just trying to make sure here. Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't. I unplugged everything. Okay. So, um, is there anybody else on the ship who's not? A complete wackadoo? Um, no. Huh. So just you? Yeah, I'm. I'm fine. I'm saying. I'm trying to. St- I, we're all agreed. We all wanted to stop it. My way will work. So, is there any way you can tell us maybe some of the quirks some of the others had? Like this, this holiday Lopez. Well, what are these injections? Adam. Like I know they said it's Kronos. What? Um, I don't know about that. I know that that's bad. Um, what does it do? I don't know. I know what her the 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 thing that you saw. That's Hermes. What does that do? It makes you into a door. Oh. And the gross rat thing. That's Lazarus. Yeah. One of our Lazarus shots is missing. I know that. That's troubling. Okay. I don't know how many Kronos shots have been used. What is Kronos? You don't know Kronos. Does. It's bad. Um, the, the 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 people who take it they they disappear and come back. They're really weird and cryptic. Um, so did Burke take Kronos? I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry. Character's like going over some of her own personal notes here while I write things down real quick. You don't want to be here at night. What time is it? Well, I mean, you can be in here. This is fine. Or you, if you uh, hear, uh, she hands you a big uh, piece of paper, uh, paint, and then she hands you some paint and a brush. Paint this on a thing in, in, in this exact shape, and then put some blood on it, your blood, and uh, say this as she hands you another piece of paper, and uh, you'll be fine. Smile, nod slowly, but not totally believing her at this point, because... She's pressing it in your hand. I was, I'm going to, like, uh-huh, sh- let me just put that in my toolkit. Okay. I put it in my toolkit, actually. Look, I, I, I have the solution. You, you do what you want, but I don't, I, like, I'll get rid of the data. Don't worry. Um, about, about when are you planning on moving out on this? 
I don't know. I'm not done with the translation. I don't think. Maybe I am. I need to. T- I need. To- I was just checking my notes when you when when you showed up. Well, Were you injected what? with anything? Not to my knowledge. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, if is, if there's any way, could you before you make your big move? Because it sounds like it might be dangerous. Well, yeah. Could could, could you give us a shout out first? Uh, if you're here, yeah. No way. Well, here, just just wait a little minute. Let me the finish the chat, and I'll do it, and then you'll know. We we really do want need to figure out what else is going on. Well, here. I have to do it inside of the water, so I can't do it in here. I have to go up on top. So I'll tell you what. Um, give us a heads up before you do that. We need to check a couple more things though, because. Uh, okay, I'll be when, if you see me on the top. That's I'm doing it. All right. Oh, quick question. Um. What's up with the cameras? And oh, the ceilings. They, oh, yeah. Um, well, the first night they they used Hermes. Um, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Glance. Over. They sent they sent people here. Glance over at Sanford. I think that's they why they welded here. It. The from the the rig, the platform, mm-hmm. and I think. I think that's why they welded it. Okay. Give, I give Sanford the okay do, okay, do something gesture because yeah. I'm not with HR. Um, I fix things. Huh. All right. We're going to go Okay. check some other things out, but we'll, we'll keep in touch. We'll catch up with you. Okay. Door shuts probably behind us and we probably yeah. hear the thing creaking back close. Oh, my God. They're all crazy. Yeah. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> But frankly, I'm at a loss. We're gonna let's, we need to find someone that's good with computers or take her word for it. Uh, Randall Holiday, Darlene Lopez. You hear a scream. From, from where? where? Uh, further down. Go check it out. Towards the engine room. Start, yeah, running towards the engine room. Oh, shit, the ship's going to blow up. Hey, we can blow the ship. Um, <sighs> All right. Um, you see uh, a woman uh, run out of the engine room. She looks... Terrified out of her mind. It's following after me. Ah, ah. Um, is there a door? Be- is the door behind her? So is it? Is, is there a porthole door behind it? Oh uh, yeah. Us, uh, yeah. You dex on five or athletics to try and close it. What's your dex? Do, 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 do. What's your dex? Okay. Actually, it's athletics. Okay. Uh, I will give it. A, I'll try anyway. What's your? Mine's a thirty. Thirty. So I'm just. I'm just going for it. Can we I'm both just, try. Nope. It's a, it's a narrow the hall is if it, if it came down to decks I would probably be the best choice but what's your decks seven oh that's fourteen so I'm agile yeah so he's going first anyway. mm-hmm. what forty eight nope all right so she gets by you um, you hear like the sound of something several like points are like ding 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 ding, ding hitting on the metal uh, are you gonna focus on closing the door or look and see what it is uh, I'm closing the door all right and but I'll probably see Give what it spring is time's five. Yeah. Uh, crap. Strength is not my high point, but whatever. 50, okay. Yellow. 37 out of 50. All right. You close it. Uh, and close sli- it. something slams against the door. Turning the wheel, and I'm going to say that my character is getting a vivid mental image based off of all the damage inside the ship. Uh, Do you want to try and figure out what it was? Yes, I'm trying to think about it. All right. Uh, let's go to to try and figure that out. Uh, <laughs> See, Figure I'm... shit out. <laughs> uh, the movie. I love a lot of mechanics, actually. If you... Like yeah, mechan- mechanics is just think what yeah, kind of trauma it, it caused. Yeah, mm-hmm. because that is probably gonna scare the shit out of me. But yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I failed that. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's the biggest, scariest fucking thing I barely saw. What the fuck? Wasn't was human. It? What the fuck was that? Basically, so the woman I'm... is there. She's like, <sighs> "Are you with? A... Are you? Did Douglas send you? Yes." Oh god, we need to get out of here. Who are you? Uh, 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 Lopez. Lopez, you go to the computers? Yeah. We need to erase the data. Also, oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Also, we're like, talking about from? magic shit, I think. I don't know what the hell's going on. What? Look, uh, uh, here, we need to go. But let's, let's, here, I, I can do it from the bridge. Uh, let, 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 let's get... Alright, let's go to the bridge. Alright. Uh, so you lead her, or, you know, she, <laughs> she bolt up the stairs. Yeah. She's taking them to the time. Kiss chase after her, uh, yeah. and the client's back at Sanford. I don't trust her. I, well, I don't trust anything, but this is the best we got. <laughs> uh, so you all get to the bridge. Uh, Lopez is there. She's, uh, she has several cuts on her face, uh, and a small one on her, on her side. So are you all uh, right? 
Um, I guess I'll live. Um, you know, it wasn't that bad. Um, I, uh, 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 what was chasing you? He was big, and it had a lot of legs. Is it the kind of thing that... that could those legs, like, would they leave scrape marks? Yeah. Puncture underwater, you know, possibly nearly bulletproof uh, casings for, you know, cameras, like the ones that are all destroyed below decks? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, first, like, we needed to delete all the data. Yeah, no, that sounds reasonable. Can you get me out of here? If you can delete the data, we have a way out. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I'll write a virus. I have a... Uh... She goes to the computer. Uh, and Are you sure you don't need some medical assistance? No. Uh, look, I'll get medical assistance when we get when we get off this place. I want to get the fuck out of here. If you can, if you say you can get me off, I'll, I'll do it. I don't care. At this point, no job is worth this. I don't care how much the fuck right, pay me. Get it done. All right. So she starts typing. Now let's talk. I'm actually going to lean against a console. Yeah. Like, I'm going to look at the, uh, is there any blueprint or at least some kind of layout of the ship that's visible from the bridge? Yeah. I'm going to study that real quick, figure out what was behind that door. Uh, that was the engine room. Fuck. <laughs> um, you have to go there, don't you? Well, I don't know if I have to go there. Uh, the, the ship still has power. Yeah. So the engines are still running. I want to start looking over the controls of the ship. Okay. What are you trying to figure out? Can I drive this thing? Uh, if you you look over, you see it's uh, moored and like the the cables are connected. So um, probably can violently pull away. It would have to have more force for that, unless we were to sever them. Yeah, I'm kind of going to mutter that out loud, well, just loud enough for Sanford to hear. Like mm-hmm. right. sever the moorings to do that if we were going to drive this thing out of here. Uh, fuck. Uh, All right. It's it's. Uh, look, I'm trying. I'm trying. I really am. I'm just... It's look, just I don't know computers. So just do a check. No, I know. I just... What were you doing uh, in the engine room? Hiding. Okay. Sounds uh, legit. There were, there, there's a maintenance closet there. Like, shit's gone. Like, like... Uh, I, I, I... I don't... The research and stuff. Like, I was just here to keep everything running. And they, they, everyone kept getting weirder and weirder. Uh, the fucking... They got some fucking zombie rat or something. Uh, yeah, we saw we, that. We saw that. Oh, Jesus. That was disgusting. Yeah, and... Um, but we two saw, days we, ago... We saw the get the door. The what? I, I don't know. I, I, look, don't, t- don't. The, the okay, I, don't. look, I believe you don't... I, I just... Um, I... I I, I it just something that that thing or, or another thing like it came out, started crawling out. The oil rig sent some people over. Um, they went in. They went in this room. They welded that door. One room shut. Saw the welding. And then they disappeared. And it's just been weird. I've just been hiding ever since. So this is a day ago. Uh, two days. Two days. Uh, I don't know. I'm. 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 Maybe. I. I. Uh, time. I've just been. I haven't seen the sun. In a while, it's sunset by this point. Yeah. Oh, they say we got to put something bad about night. They say it's worse at night. I wouldn't. I mean, I guess there are times where it's really bad. I hear that skittering sound all over, and there are times where it's really quiet. I thought it was really quiet, and I heard noise. So I thought maybe. I mean, I was just waiting for rescue. I, I, I assumed that they had to send more people in. Uh, why are there only two of you? Did, or did the rest of your team get? There's a third person that was supposed to come. Back. He didn't show up for some reason. <laughs> oh, uh, God. You know what movie is, right? <laughs> huh? Yeah, of course. Okay, good. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Uh, okay, I don't. Uh, don't worry about it. All right. So you, the ship radio crashed on. Uh, it's Douglas. Okay. Hello. Uh, is this Sanford? Uh, I, I can see with the binoculars. There's some people on the bridge. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't send anyone else over. Um, Situa- we had a report. Do you, you, do, do either of you have unauthorized communication devices? Like, wouldn't know. Like, nothing I would know about. No persuasion. <laughs> yep. Okay. Are there any binoculars on the bridge? By the way. Uh, yeah. I'm going to start looking out at the uh, over the ship, and I'm going to try to figure out where the moorings physically are, mm-hmm. how close they are to any kind of any kind of actual walkway to get onto this thing. Okay. How many walkways there are, and how cl- how many people are watching this ship with guns out? Uh, right now, just two. Uh, two people with guns. You see the moorings. You see the gangway. Uh, you see the data cables. Uh, data cables. You probably don't have to worry about. They're not no. They're going to pull away. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you see all that. Um, so he says, look, it's vitally important you do not communicate with the outside world. 
You find an unauthorized communication device, do not use it. I tell anyone about this. This is this is vitally important that we we keep this discreet because uh, I have heard a report um, uh, that you that one of you received an unauthorized communication from an outsider. Uh, like com- this, like this whole place is crazy. Uh, okay, uh, I see there are three of you in there. Have you located? Have you have you ascertained the fate of all six crew members like, of importance? No, we have not. Uh, it's getting to like the. Uh, Primary lab is welded shut, but there's some kind of hostiles on board. Uh, do not send anyone else over. We're, we think that all the ones you sent over are dead. Uh, are, are you a hundred percent sure? Yes. Like look, like look. The best. Like we're we're doing the best we can. So we, until we can figure out, we need to ascertain exactly what's going on. When we have a complete picture, we'll let you know about what's what needs to be done. But sending anyone else over is likely to result in more casualties. I understand. Give me a uh, human check. Yes, I make that one. I did not make this one. <laughs> did you just sign your own death warrant? <laughs> mm-hmm. like, uh, like, actually, I'm like, dude, I'm like, dude. Dude, at this point, we're likely to die anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so anyway, yeah, like we'll let we'll let you know when we have anything else. Um, wait, uh, who is that on the deck? Uh, you look over, you I see Elsa. Down. I look down with the bow. She's at the front bow, you know, kind of pulling the Titanic. Oh God! She's raising her arms up. Actually, I, I am going to mutter on a moment. God damn it, Elsa! Uh, you you with you with Bernard, did you see she also has a knife in her hand. Oh, what the fuck? I uh, don't know. Why? I mean, uh, give me a second. <sighs> That's Elsa. She's got a knife. She was talking crazy shit about magic and water. This is bad. We should stop her. She's gonna hurt herself. I'm making progress. What the heck? Are you... Like, keep at it. Like, I'll go see what she's doing. All right, I'll stay here. Um, yeah, just see if you can maybe bring her back here. I have an idea. Okay. So you're going out. I'll go out. All right, you you're heading out. Uh, as you get closer, one you can see the two riflemen, or yeah, they mm-hmm. both have their rifles. Like right? All right, they're, they're they're not aiming at you or her directly. Uh, That's wild. So uh, so from like four, 50 feet away, you can hear a voice. Hi, hi, fatog and ah, and it's just tequila light, tequila light. She's just chanting this weird, bizarre shit uh, <laughs> that you don't understand. Give me a sand check. Nope. Okay. Uh, you lose one. So natural. That's not a crazy. That this is not like crazy. Crazy person. This is this is so with structure and purpose. She uh, and the air just seems charged. It's like the right before a lightning strike. You almost smell the ozone. Uh, there's a tension in the air. Like, Ilsa, there are rifles pointed at you right now. She turns to you. <sighs> it must be done. It must be done. The gate must be closed. Just look at her. Yeah. Then do what you got to do. <laughs> but just know that there's just know they're pointing rifles at you right now. <laughs> it matters not. It must be done. Hear my call. Come, come. I'm just gonna. And turn. she just slits her own throat. Jesus. Santa. <laughs> um, I was watching from the binoculars. Yeah. Way, so. Oh, I totally make the shit out of that That's one. That's one for violence. What? Twenty-three. So yeah, it's still one, but yeah, I make it. Uh, rifle shot goes near you too. <laughs> so. Like, stays fire, idiot. Do- dodging. Okay. Yeah. cross off Elsa. <laughs> no, I don't make it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cross off. Uh, gonna cross off Sanford, and <laughs> let's see here. Uh, you only take two points of damage uh, as a bullet ricochets near you and uh, cuts you up. Like, like cease fire, you fucking idiot! She falls in the water. Like, <laughs> and then just everything shakes for a moment. Uh, shit. And then, okay, um, how many mornings are... Look, look out at the mornings again. How many yeah. spots do I have to sever? Uh, the radio crackles on at this point. Um, 
All right, you are now quarantined on the ship. Clearly, our sensors are not working. Uh, stay on board the ship. If you attempt to leave, uh, you will be fired upon. I actually, I'm going to answer. I'm going to yeah. answer. Uh, this is Carla, and I've got a quick question. Why are you shooting at people that were attempting to restrain clearly, ins- clearly insane people and who were not trying to leave the ship? Are you also going to fire on us? It fire. That was that was an accident. That was a, like, I was, I was, well, you're, you're, you're so out yeah. there. I was like, that was a very accurate misfire! <laughs> uh, anyways, well, um, I'll tell you what, we're going to stay on here. Um, stay on board the ship. Do you have any update on weather si- any weather systems moving in? Start checking if there's any meteorological equipment on them. Yeah, there bridge. is. I'm going Dompler to ask him, though, yeah. while I'm no, checking, it's fine. checking the things myself, seeing what it says. Live readings. Uh, pressure's dropping. Okay. Well, Turn if you see me on the deck, please don't shoot me. Really? I'm not trying to escape. We are Give trying me a persuade to... check. <laughs> going to fail this. <laughs> you are. You are totes going to fail. Oh, God. I have 40. Uh, yellow. Op 7. Oh. <laughs> I am not trying to leave. <laughs> All right. I will not do Fine. any harm. <laughs> See, skill check. Oh, some kind of person. Mr. Success Man. <laughs> the random okay. generated narrative. Thank you. Uh, this is... I think you... Over. Uh, yeah. We're all and, fine here. How are and you? And <laughs> I will attempt to figure out precisely what happened on our end with uh, Sam, Samford. And, and then... We will um, see if we can brief you on any possible more any more of the situation. Uh, there is a, I have a tiny question though. I, I'm what, kind of keeping him on the line while Sanford walks back in. All right, Sanford, I assume you're getting back. Mm-hmm. I just do have a tiny question though. Glance up at Sanford with like, oh shit, you need to be like, yeah, mm-hmm. we need help. With um, I was trying to get into the engine room, but it sounds like there's something in there. Uh, Stay on board the ship. I just, I just wanted to know. Um, I wanted to make sure there were no leaks, that, that this vessel was sound, and 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 is there any way um, we can figure out how to clear out whatever vermin are in there? Uh, you're just saying this to Douglas? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Okay. Click. All right. Um, she just killed herself. Yeah, I saw that. Um, also, they lied about the weather. It's about to get really ugly. Oh, I don't think they lied. <laughs> I'm starting... I guess. I've asked them not to shoot me, but I think they're probably, they're probably just going to do it anyways. I have an idea. Um, hey, uh, Darlene, right? Darlene? How's it going? Yeah. How, how's the programming going? Um, I got most of it. Uh, they Keep severed it. the connection. Good. Uh, we need, we need, it needs to be destroyed. So continue on. Uh, we'll just wait here until you're done. Uh, so, not, I don't want to freaking leave this this room. We're ready to... Oh, hey, do you remember the instructions that Elsa gave us before? Oh, but it's a kid. It's to produce all the shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, here, I'm bleeding. Let me go do it. You, 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 you do, do the thing. Yeah. And I need to figure out how to get the moorings loose on this. Um... I'd rather we had access well, to it. Yeah, I mean, the only way you get the mornings is if you expose yourself to the fire. Right. So I have to figure out. I'm just going to start looking over ways to figure Wait, out. Wait, are you saying we can't get out now? This is darling. Yeah. Um, they just shot at us. Well, but Sanford, really. Uh, while he was attempting to... To be fair, it was else. a ricochet, but... Um, I, I'm painting. Like, yeah. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm guessing you know, you know probably just as much as I do on this one. Those guys are clearly well trained. That wasn't a ricochet they missed. Right. Well, that would make sense too. Their uniforms had no markings. Did you notice that? Glanced down at my own unmarked uniform. <laughs> right. What I mean is, like, they're probably they're probably mercenaries, not just security. I don't know. This is God. This is too much like a movie. Did any of them have like funny accents or something? <laughs> no, I, didn't, I didn't hear any of them talk. No. Like, okay, once it's drawn, like, just this is it my shoulder? I guess. Yep. <laughs> And yeah. um, you feel woozy. Uh, lose five willpower. No. <laughs> Look around it. Oh Jesus, that's almost half of it. Okay. Hey, Darlene, do you, do you remember if there was any mention of emergency situations, uh, possible ways to scuttle the boat? Um, 
We, sc- we can't scuttle the boat. We're on the boat. Well, we can leave the boat in a different way if it's going down, you know. They'll have How? nothing to worry about. I mean... Darling, just... Are there any... Delete the data. I can't. I, they sever the connection. <sighs> I, I, I set the virus and I don't know if they caught it or not, but I don't have access to the data center anymore. So, I mean, I deleted most. I deleted like 70% of it at least. <sighs> Were there any weapons lockers on board? Any mention of that? Um, Case things go haywire? Yeah, I I think I know where the weapons went. Really? Through that welded door, probably. Shit. Actually, um, are there, like, curtains on the uh, bridge windows? Um, uh, no. Hmm. I, you can, like, hunker behind the desk, basically. Mm-hmm. Hmm. No, I'm actually just going to, like, like, then just slide down the wall. Yeah. And so, like, so it's, it's, I'm, I'm gonna make anyone think it was looking at it seem like, fuck, I'm wounded. And yeah. just, ugh. All right, bones Persuasion. Hmm? Persuasion. Hmm? Nope. All right, they probably didn't notice. So, but you don't know that, so. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, I'm gonna grab the first aid Look. kit that's probably the present on the bridge. Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Like, keep a low profile, go mm-hmm. over, and I'm gonna try to patch up Samford. Go for it. Because I've got first aid. Go for it. Low, but yellow. Ought one. All right. Uh, Patching them up. You healed uh, back to full. Okay. Like, thank you. Uh, field dressings are... You know, you don't expect to do this a lot with the Coast Guard, but there's a lot of pirates out there. It's a real problem. Hey, in the Gulf? Yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, I'm actually... Okay, then yeah. once I'm out of sight... Mm-hmm. Sat phone. Okay. Uh, there you go. If we can find Hello? a way to get some kind of... S- oh, wait. Status? Uh, I... We had someone put in a virus to the data center, but they've now... Like, dur- I'm guessing during the insertion, they se- they severed all our connections to their de- onboard data center. Okay. How much do you think... Do you think... He it says... Se- she says 70 to 75%. She? Yeah. Who is she? Like... <laughs> Darlene Lopez. Darlene, like Darlene Lopez. Yeah, she. Oh, so you found someone to do it for you? Yes. Okay. Do you trust her? As much as I can. Yes. Strangely, I do. Okay. She seemed eager to get to destroy it. Okay. But uh, now they've quarantined us on board the boat. Okay. They're, if we try to leave, they'll shoot us. Uh, atmospheric conditions in the Gulf have uh, are. Actually, I'm going to exactly state what he's saying. Yeah. If anything I can get from the ship, pressure's dropped. It's about to go. How, I'm guessing is this going to be like a full hurricane, or is this going to be just really bad? Stuff? Uh, no, actually, meteorology. Yeah. Check. God damn it. Yeah. I, I can't help it. Hallelujah! It's raining, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, okay. Yeah. Uh, Twenty-seven out of forty. So. All right. Um, actually, it's not. Wait. Wait. So it's, it's uh, just actually water. the 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 underwater. Uh, there's some sort of circular pattern forming in the water around you. Uh, and the, the, the sky, the cloud cover is increasing a lot. So like there won't be any satellite footage of what happens. Uh, but, uh, so there will be a storm, but not a hurricane, but there's just the, it's like you're in the center of a massive whirlpool. I'm actually going to say this out loud, loud enough for the sat phone. Yeah. And then that's weird. Um... There is a helicopter inbound. They're probably going to be fired on. There's going to be some stormy conditions. No, um, it's their helicopter. Oh, shit. But if you can get on board that helicopter and you fly out, I will give you coordinates and uh, you'll be extracted and then um, we can deal with your uh, jobs. Like, well, how are we supposed like, They're going to shoot. Like, if we make any move to get on board, they're going to shoot at us. Uh, if you wait. That is, uh, after a certain time, I think they will be distracted. So the timing mm-hmm. your move is vital. Uh, All right. Or you could, according to my understanding of the schematics of it, there are ladders from the water that you could climb up and get access to the bottom level of the uh, platform if you're mm-hmm. willing to brave the waters. Oh, yeah, with my, swim, with, with, with my swim of 20. Mm. I'm perfectly suited for this, but yeah. Um, I've got an idea. I just have to figure out how to make this work. Um, 
Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try a few more things and keep an eye on that. And um, okay, I'll wait for the sat, uh, sat phone to turn okay. off. All right, turns off. Mm-hmm. So Sanford, okay, yeah. uh, uh, darling, you said you said if there was a weapons locker, it's past. Well, well the welded room. The weapons locker wouldn't be, but it, I think the weapons locker is empty now. Um, I think they okay. took the weapons beyond the door. Sanford. Yeah. If I have access to some slightly heavier uh, ordnance, you know, small ordnance, I guess you'd say, you know, I can do some damage that might actually give us a chance to either pull away and scuttle the ship in relative safety. I can shoot a gun. That's good. Um, My issue is breaking off the moorings. If we can do that, we can isolate one of the problems. Now, I don't have the ordnance. I snuck a flare gun on, and that's all I have. I've got a handgun. That's probably not going to do it. There's no way you can shoot the mords off. They're thick yeah. chains. You have to physically un... I was saying, like, if yeah. we had heavy weapons. To cover you? Oh. I, no, I have the heavy weapon skill. Oh, okay. I could... If I had something... like um, a yeah. Well, you have the mechanical skills. You could jury rig something if you had access to materials. Is there a machine shop on board this ship? There is. Where is it? Uh, first floor. What's it connected to? <laughs> Nothing. Like, I mean, remember I said how okay. inside of crew quarters they have the maintenance and the you know, other stuff there? Okay. So it's near the mess hall. So um, I have an idea. Let's try and get to wherever that is. And I can work with what I've got. And you cover me. All right. You want to, you want to stick with us? Yeah. Okay. I want to get off the ship. So yeah. Back we, we really I don't want, want to. I want to get out of here. We've got something arranged. I guess you ever heard. Uh, we can possibly survive this. I'd yeah. like that very much. So any idea what's going on with the water outside? It's unprecedented. Oh, is it? This, this, this is not supposed to happen. It, 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 it's, a good thing the, I, it's a good thing I don't know meteorology. <laughs> all the all the classes I ever took, you know. I mean, I, I was I was kind of do you know get into that after doing my terms, and and this isn't supposed to happen. It's kind of coming from the water. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stick together, buddy. <laughs> oh, we're going. What did Elsa do outside of? Well, what I obviously saw her. Did she? She was it? chanting and then slit her own throat and fell into the water. Well, fuck. Hmm. Uh, you hear Elsa? She says it's coming. Did I hear that, or was it just him? Uh, I don't know. Do I just make a roll, or you can choose? <sighs> I will not hear it, but not because... It's just that I wasn't there for the actual event. Sure. I was just, yeah, just foyer. You guys go right ahead. I'm going to... Besides, it's creepy for Tom. Yeah. <laughs> you guys could get in the machine shop. I'm right behind you. Um, just for... Give me... Here, yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, no, I'm an engineer. I'll help you. Yeah. Okay, you know what I for a weapon? Yeah. yeah it's like, give, give me a minute. Just give me one minute. All right. Just remember, we can't cover you if you're not I understand. Us. I'll be right there. Produce the flare gun. Okay. Yeah. Start marching with the flare gun and the toolkit. Just a... All right. Elsa, are you there? Uh, the radio clicks on on a different frequency. <laughs> Shit. Hello? <laughs> Hello. Uh, let's see here. Clay? Um, Ilsa, is it Ilsa's voice? Yeah. Hi. Ilsa. Faint. I, I um, don't mean to be a naysayer or anything, but I'm pretty sure I saw you slit your throat. That which is not dead cannot die. Well, I saw you die pretty hard. Um, it's coming. What's coming? He. Zonk. Not he who is in his house, sunken, but he, he who is for, foremost of his servants. I have made a pact. Um, well, that's. Can you tell me when he is coming? Soon. Like. Before the morrow. Okay, uh, so we probably shouldn't be here when that happens, right? Clay, there is a place for you if you want it. Wait, uh, what does that mean? <laughs> Come and see. Come and see. It's just so beautiful down here. We all float. <laughs> like, it says, uh, like, where am I? Go see where. I. Look over the water's edge. 
sure. <laughs> just like, oh, what the hell? I'll go over like. Uh, well, you can't do that from the bridge. Uh, like she wants you to lean over the side. Or I'll, I'll go on deck. All right, but as you turn, uh, you see Doctor Burke. Who are you talking to? I didn't hear anybody on your side. Hi. It's the stress. There's just static. Yeah, it's a, Shh. Like, it's um. Give me the answer. It's stress. <laughs> I, I make it? Yeah, it's stress. Yeah, like, like it's stress. Um, listen, I just got to get a breath of fresh air, and I'll be right back in, okay? What's happening? Uh, we're, we think we might have a way off of here. We just got to make some preparations. Oh, there are ways off of here. Yes, we know. We know several of them, but we're arranging one. Well, Kronos, that's the best way. No, thanks. You don't even know where it goes. Yeah, I still don't want to. <sighs> I'm going to go get some air. Okay. Um. All right. I'll tell. I'll tell Chad. Okay. I'm gonna like that. Like, well, Chad, he can deal with it. Mm. All right. I go. I'm gonna go out on deck. All right. You got it on deck. Uh, so meanwhile, I uh, get uh, to the machine shop as quickly as possible. Yeah. Uh, if Darlene's willing to help, yeah. fuck yeah. Um, try to figure out if there's some way to rig. I guess king size jaws of life. Uh, mm-hmm. Big old snips because they don't throw sparks. Yep. And you can potentially quickly and quietly... Yeah, give me a mechanic, sure. Oh, yeah. uh, do, 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 black. 93. Not doing so hot. All right. Let's see how she does. Uh, her skill is 70. We'll see. She's oh. a lot better than me. Yeah, she um, is. I'm an electrician, damn it! And I have uh, ideas! So you managed to get something... I mean, it's not the best. It's not the worst. It'll probably fall apart after a couple of uses. Okay, can we get most of this busted free? Just enough for the engines to do the rest. Can we do that? Uh, oh, you mean you mean fighting that thing? I meant just getting this. No, 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 no. The engines. I mean, we can we can operate most of it probably from up here. I just need to get the moorings loose so we can just. Try oh, to get the moorings. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Then we can. This will definitely speed it up. Yeah. So, um, do you think this will work? Do you think it'll be quiet enough? They're not going to shoot at us immediately. No, it's going to be really noisy. You need a distraction. Okay, we can work on that. God, where the fuck is Sanford? Just, All right. I'm just, I'm just, gonna, like, just trying to like clear my head, but I am. Give me Sanja. <laughs> Jesus. Nope. I gazed into the abyss. 57. What's your sand? Oh, now it's uh, it's 47. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you see something gold and glittery under the surface of the water. You can't quite make it out. Night. Don't well then. Don't gaze into the light. It's in my Shyamalan. <laughs> Seems to get glowing brighter and brighter, uh, but it starts trailing off uh, towards the front of the ship. Uh, no. You didn't realize you were following it, and then you see a rifleman taking aim at you. Give me a dodge check. Oh God. 38. Is that a fail? Or? It's a fail. All right. Uh, Damn it. I yeah. pa- am I going to patch you up again? Yeah, probably. Uh, only one. One point of damage. You're winged. Give me a sand check for being shot at. Basically, I do make that. Huh? All right. Like, like, I'm not trying to fucking jump or anything. Stop it. They fire again. Jesus. <laughs> All right, you can give me athletics or dodge to get to cover, get back to the blow of the ship. Athletics. All right. No, actually, it doesn't matter. They're both exactly the same. All right. Yes, I make that. All right. You manage to run back. They clearly got orders to shoot on sight now. Right. Fuck. I, I don't know this yet, but... I come back in, just finally get in the machine shop. Hey, where the fuck... Why do you have new holes? Like... Oh, this, it's a... It's, it's a it's I just patched you up! It, this, it's a graze. It's fine. Uh, are they coming on board? Are they boarding? No, they're just... Now they're shooting at anything on deck. Okay, well, um... Check... I per, uh, bust out my sat phone. I check if there's any signal this far as far beneath uh, that much metal, but... We're, we're up, we're up. We're, up we're, we're towards, towards the surface. Yeah. Some yeah, yeah. Sometimes sat phones get... Yeah, yeah. It's faint and uh, staticky. Five, 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 three, eight, two, nine... Four, three, eight. Okay. Uh, you get a moxie point? It doesn't. <laughs> Next time we play Cliff's Face, yeah. mark that down. Uh, One of these days. So. Uh, yeah, no, I, I dial them up. Yes. I have a 
potential B plan? Um, okay. If we were to change the location of the ship, could... It sounds like you've got some kind of military position. Would you be able to deliver some ordnance if I gave you coordinates after we managed to make some kind of way off this boat? You mean for the platform? I mean for the ship itself. We can track the ship. Good. Can you send a helicopter to the ship if we take them away from the platform? Get uh, clear out of that storm. That's the idea. Um, So if we call you back with new coordinates, this is plan B, mind you. And we don't get shot again. We know where the platform is. We know where the ship is. Good. Okay. Um, my idea is to separate the ship from the platform, re- reduce the number of threats, and then just hopefully Take not get... speaker from. Okay. Click. That speaker. Yeah. Uh, no, off. Off. Oh, okay. Take yeah. my speaker from. Yeah. Because I assume you guys have been using yeah, speaker from. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. allow the group to... Uh, so... Uh, use... Uh, the word uh, Siberia the next time you use this it's not you you don't say that that's it okay alright you say that that's your exit code so, okay uh, that that we will uh, uh, I cannot call you again at this location uh, until you get clear of the platform alright so take the helicopter it has landed on board the uh, platform or uh, get the ship loose. Okay. Let's try this. We will cut the Turn off. <laughs> off! Both of you. No, this is in oh, the hallway. Uh, both of you give me sand checks. Fuck. Fuck. No. 18. Made it. All right. Uh, just one for you. Something's in the hallway. Check the doors, make sure we. we yeah. I really would have shut them, so yeah. Um, so I'm really hoping that's not Chad. Chad's a spider? Would that be any weirder to you than what's going on here? Well, it's just a spider. My ears are burning! Man's voice comes out from the hallway. I hear you. Uh, who are you? I'm Chad. Dr. I'm- Chad Sperry. I've come back. Uh, we've been working on, on, on Site B. Uh, Dr. Burke says you, you haven't brought me anything, but we can use more hands. All right, well, um... Start looking around the machine for anything that could potentially be rigged into a fucking weapon. <laughs> uh, you notice that, that star you painted, uh, Darlene must have taken and put it on the door herself. Okay. Uh, I, there's, you put a thing on the door, could you remove it? Right. Um... I don't think we can. Um, listen, um, this is a heck of an operation going on here. I mean, when we came on board, this was... We you weren't expecting you just hear this. Dunk, dunk. Uh, Look, uh, we're, I'm under a lot of pressure. And I, I really need you to be a team player. And I really need you to open this door. Or I will... I, I, you seem stressed. Oh, Chad. You know what you should do? Yeah. You should go talk to the people on the platform. Why? Like, like, they like... I heard tell that they, they want to cancel this whole operation. Persuade minus 20. <laughs> oh, God, this, this isn't going to work. <laughs> yeah, like, What's your persuade at? Uh, 50. So? Eight of them. Oh, my God. 40. So you failed. I know. because yeah, it was minus 20. Minus oh, 20. minus 20. God yeah. damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth a shot. Um, I don't believe you. Well, they do want to destroy this place. So, you know, Someone saying. does. Who called it? Did, is Elsa? Where is Elsa? Um, oh. Oh, she, oh, she. I think she jumped into the water. Oh. Well, you can't stay here. You need a shot of uh, Cronus or you need to come downstairs. I unwalled the door. That took some time. Uh, the door's open. You can come in and you can see it. It's it's uh, the, the 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 locals call it Ling. It's a really nice place. Uh, great, very cool weather. Uh, it's it's a nice place. And don't worry if you're with me. No one, nothing, nothing's gonna happen. You just uh, uh, is Darlene with you? Why is she with you? Uh, just girl, open the door. Like. 
Look, I really don't appreciate the tone you're taking with us right now. I find it incredibly disrespectful. Please leave. Darlene is taking out a welding torch. She's like, I can, she, she just was I can weld them into the next room. Cut through the bulkhead. All right, so she starts cutting. <laughs> I'm also going to, again, I'm looking for anything that essentially can become a launcher. <laughs> uh, we've, got, we've, got our, we've got our snips. Yeah. I just need a launcher. <laughs> uh, give me mechanics. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. No. 50 out of 40, so no. Um, yeah, you, you're not able to come up with something, so... Um, okay, look, I'm going to go up on deck, and I'll sort this out myself. Uh, yes, you do that. Okay. Okay, because like... I, the ship starts stirring, by the way. It's sort of mm, shaking yeah. a little bit back and forth. Like, uh, okay, you do that, and uh, uh, let us know what they say. <sighs> when I come back... Oh, yeah, when you come back, well, we need to know what they're saying on the on the rig. Right. Yeah, totally. All right. Like, see, we're totes not doing that. I think I peed a little. <laughs> All right. Uh, Darlene has opened up a small hole uh, that you can get through. Of course, it's very hot. Uh, so you need to make an athletics or a dodge check to get through without singeing yourself on it. Um, is there a uh, welding apron present? Uh, yeah. Of course. I see. put that. drape the welding apron over the thing. It should at least help a little bit. I'm It'll gonna... help a little bit. I'll give you a plus 10 to your roll. That'll work. Okay. Fuck. This isn't going to work. So is athletics Dodge or Dodger athletics? Uh, they're both exactly the same. Okay. Now it's, at, now it's at 40. All right. So here we go. Oh, shit. Then you succeed. I, look at that. I did. See? Jeez, Tom. Stop being like such that. a... Neg- yeah. Jeez. Mm-hmm. Black. 37. All right. Out of, out of 40. Uh, so, the yeah. apron was a good idea. Uh, so... Uh, you managed to get in the next room, and uh, she's like, "Okay, you think, you think the coast is clear? What's in the room? Well, it's a storage room. There's there's supplies. I'm gonna start searching through to see if there's Search. anything we can use. Uh, Search. Or like this. Whoa. 55 out of... Where's my search? Where's my search? Is that alphabetical out of 40? No, so... Uh, no, nope, did not make it. Actually, I think it's a quick isn't it? If it's double... It's searching. I, I mean, I'm okay, not okay. going to be a dick like that. <laughs> I think this mop is going to be very helpful. <laughs> I mean, if you want to roleplay like that, that's no, fine. I don't know. No, I just, uh, so, yeah, there's just box crates, and you'd have to cut through... Like, they're, they're cardboard boxes wrapped in plastic and shit like that. Probably, so like, like, rando... Uh, food me- and medical gear, yeah, probably lab supplies. equipment. Yeah, tubing, uh, <laughs> tubing. Yeah, <laughs> syringes and things like that. So, like, where are we going? So, uh, okay. Think. So, here's the plan. Before Chad showed up, is that while there's a distraction, look over. Oh, they're shooting. Hey, I have an idea. Chad's distracting them. We needed a distraction, anyways. Go get the. Can we get the moors now? Yeah, let's go. We just need to get enough of them that we can get to the bridge, drive off, and then we can get a pickup. From whoever the fuck is on the phone. Okay, let's go. All right, so who's going through the hatch first? From the storage room into the co- corridor. I'll, I have a gun. I'll go. Okay. You I'll open it up. Mm-hmm. There's no way to stealth it. Hmm? There's, I mean, it's a big hatch. Like, you can't... So just, uh, just, just go. Okay. Well, you have to... Uh, well, yeah, okay, yeah. so you can have Darlene open it or... No, no, it's... I'll just... Yeah. Is it push out or out? Uh, yeah, push out. Hmm. Um, yeah, people, ship people can tell me if the, those kind of bulkheads would, uh... <laughs> They'd probably, like, still make some kind of noise, like a... Hip- well, no, whether they open out or in. Oh, okay. Yeah, probably. Uh, Why not a ship? I'm right? guessing in, uh, so you don't obscure the, obstruct the hallway, but oh, I'm, yeah, not, I'm not 100%. All right, yeah, so it opens in. Mm-hmm. So you pull it open. Um, so what, you see, oh, alertness. Nope. All right, it's fine. All right, like, okay, come on. Okay, so you go in first. Mm-hmm. Are you stealthing or just running? I'll try to stealth it. Give me a stealth check. Nope. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you go. Um, I'll follow with the flare gun out. Stealth is not an Actually, option. Darlene wants to go right behind him. Uh, you can get take Darlene. <laughs> I really want to get out of here. Uh, so you take up the rear. Yep, I'll have the... Actually, how's this? You can be alert. I'll ask for Darlene to take tips uh, so I can keep the flare gun in the back covered. Okay. Blood. 20, yeah. Okay. I those things. Uh, yeah. Give me a sand check. Damn. Yadu. 63 out of 73. All right. You lose one. All right. Uh, there is something perched over the ceiling, uh, over the, the door to the machine shop that is kind of now rotating around. It's spider shape, but if it was the size of, um, a small horse... Uh, oh fuck this flare gun! <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, you can use firearms if that's if you have that trained. I do. Oh, I don't have firearms trained. It's you can give me a dex times five. 
Alright. That's pretty close range. Kali Ma. 50 out of 70. So, yeah. All right. Uh, I, I feel like things. All right. You, it, it, it hits it. And you all hear a uh, squealing. Darlene just pushes you. It's run! Yeah, let's uh, go, 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 Sanford, think of some kind of distraction real quick so we can get the more You're not saying anything like that. You're I'm running. Sh- I'm screaming this out loud. Okay. No, you're just probably screaming gibberish. Yeah. No, yeah, she, no she, he may, uh, Sean made a sanctuary. Well, I'm not really listening. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. So you stomp up to the bridge, I assume? Uh, I guess whatever. I guess the bridge is probably going to be on the way to get into the deck and probably go to survey what yeah. degree of distraction is yeah. currently on, underway. All right, so you get on the deck. Um, yeah, I think you get, give me a learning check. All of us? Uh, if you're looking outside the... Yoder. Op uh, five. No. Um, you've already seen one, so there's another one. Uh, it's on top of the holodeck. Uh, looks, it's <laughs> sort of... Uh, uh, wrapped around a uh, human body. There's gunfire and there's a fire on the helideck. Oh, great! They're distracted. Let's go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is terrifying. Okay. Uh, so the uh, yeah, give me athletics or dex in the five to get to the first one. I'm dex and times five. Right. Uh, that. It's there's three things you have to cut. Yep. Fifty nine out right. of seventy. So. Uh, all right, you get to the first one. Uh, you got the the snippers were definitely worth the first time. So, so. you just you easily you shear them off. More than one town. Yeah. Shit. Hope, I hope Sanford's you know keeping up and ready mm-hmm. for other distractions. Yeah. Uh, Unceremoniously starts like running to try to slide into place and get the second morning. All right, second morning will require Dex times five. What? Ah, oh, that's a miss. Critical failure? No, just 86. Right, uh, okay. 70. So it's taking time, and you, you damage it. Yeah. Uh, another failure will break it. Okay. Uh, but you do the second one, third, second one. So the third one. Yeah. 51. All right. So it, it holds intact, but barely. The ship is free now. <laughs> Start bolting. <laughs> athletic times five? Yeah. Or, I mean, athletic times yeah. five. Make it, yes! Yellow. 61 now. Uh, um, all right, so you're. I guess I've got uh, yeah. her. Uh, Darling stayed in the bridge. Yes. Oh, that's, like, probably, that's probably fair. <laughs> she's like, mm, you, you got this. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you, you're there. Uh, the uh, you, the ship is clear. Uh, Darling sees that, and she's starting the ship up. Uh, you hear the engines. <laughs> um, so let's see here. You're at the bridge. You see mm-hmm. him. Yeah. Um, a gunman. Uh, you see a gunman come up, uh, looking down, and he is uh, going to take a shot at you. Uh, let's see if he hits. Yeah. He has a forty percent chance of hitting you at this range. Uh, nope, he misses. Give me sand check though, because yeah, I'm gonna just yeah. What? Forty-one out of seventy-two. All right. The fuck. <laughs> so give me another athletic check to get into cover. Yep. Get to the bridge. Sixty-three out of thirty. No. All right. It's gonna take another shot. Damn it. But definitely, if you if you uh, survive this shot, you'll Sanford! definitely. Make- uh, oh, he rolled a one. Fuck. Uh, no chance for dodges, I'm guessing, because... Uh, no, you can make a dodge. Right. It's it's better than nothing. Yeah. The yellow. Odd seven out of 30. Yeah, that beats his one. So I will... Oh, wait, no, a one is a critical success. Is, is it a crit? I thought... No, I was like... Doubles. Doubles. Doubles and I think a one. Okay. Uh, let me double check. That's why the, the rule book here. So we huh. need to be... Oh, hi, oh, hi rule book. Okay. Rule book. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. The game using skills forty two. You're using a skill, the not dying skill. Yes, huh. he's using the skill. Make someone die. <laughs> you're playing. You're rolling. He's How many points do you have? Uh, hit points total eleven. Eleven. Okay. Let's see here. Do, do, do. <laughs> if you don't have a skill, who rolls bonuses and penalties? Uh, yep, it's a success. Automatic uh, critical success. Yep. Uh, okay. So I did not crit succeed since I only got an odd seven, which is a yep. double or an odd one. So uh, it does double damage instead of max. So yeah. rifle does d ten. So yeah. we'll see what happens. Ooh, sixteen. Yep. Uh, so here's what happens. Uh, you go down. Uh, Darling looks at you. Uh, first, give me a sand check. Nope. Okay. Uh, compatriot dying. So. Yep. Uh, that's three sanity. How do you react? Well, I... Fuck! Wait, I think he's, I think I can save him. What? 
Uh, she runs out. Um, Fuck. <laughs> okay, so Carla's bleeding. Um, uh, so, she... Uh, what are you going to do? Just... Oh, fuck. I, I can't pilot the ship. Like, I'll wait for... It's like... The ship is already moving away, mm-hmm. so... Um, what are you... So, are you staying in the bridge? I'm just staying there. Just okay. <laughs> All right, give me another sand check. Fuck. Wait, no, is she, is she, like, is she alive? I'm giving I'm this bleeding out, but actually, I'll, I'll like no, just try to pull her in. No, you don't know that. You, you yeah. already said what you're doing. Okay, that's right. Yeah, Billy, Darlie ran out, out, out of seventy-two. How much? Twenty-eight. Yeah. You lose two. Yeah. That's you wake up. You're you're there. Uh, uh, Darlene is looking over you. Uh, what yeah. Give me a learning check. Fuck. Uh, black. Forty-seven. That uh should yeah makes it. By how much? Uh, by 13. Uh, you notice in her hand there was a little needle that she quickly throws away. Oh, what the fuck did you do? We'll talk about it later. Come on, come on. How, how much of a hole is still in, in problem guessing in my chest? Right, give me the first aid check. Yeah. What? I failed. 67. So You're fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm not thinking about it right now. I'm still psychologically thinking that I might maybe missed the organs I thought it hit. I don't yeah, know. it doesn't look that bad. In denial. Clearly, of you're, I mean, you're still conscious and alive. And yeah. The pain doesn't hurt as much so as it does. Now pain, I'm just focused on pain, pain don't hurt. Yeah. Uh, Get to the... Uh, you're at four hit points. Okay. Uh, so you'll get back at the bridge. Uh, so. Get us away from here. I'm, Pilot check. Yeah. I'm going to try and get this thing going a little bit faster. Yellow. 66 out of 60. Woo! Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. So this slams part. against the platform. Uh, all of you give me athletic checks. Uh, no. 19 I actually made this one, so I just, okay. you know, sh- tilt side to side while they rock the camera. And, you know. Uh, you take four points of damage. You slam your head on the ground. Um, yeah, the uh, you, you, yeah, you've damaged the ship pretty bad. The platform is pretty bad. Uh, things from the platform fall onto the ship. Uh, you don't know if you're gonna be able to get past. Uh, it seems like all the water is being poured towards the center. It's like you're, you're like, uh, it's it's trying to go out. Yeah, you're in the middle of a whirlpool. That you can see, you can see the edges of it. The water's rising up along the horizon. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Desperately scramble, try to get the ship going. Give me another check. Yeah. Don't don't break. Eighty-eight. Oh my god! <laughs> all right, uh, yeah, you're both. All, give me Sancho. <laughs> Black. No, made it. Sixty-two. I have yeah, seventy. <laughs> all right, this ship is going underneath the oil platform. Uh, give me athletic checks to get off. Black. Thirty-six out of twenty-five. Thirty. Yeah. So, if it's all just right. athletics now. All right, uh, you make it. Uh, Carla's uh, falling behind. You make it off onto the deck. Um, yeah, the ship is going. Uh, Darlene makes it too. Uh, how much did you fail by? I uh, failed by uh, six points. All right. Um, well, here's what happens. Darlene reaches and grabs you. A piece of metal like slams into her arm, uh, but she's holding on. Um... Okay. Give me, uh, and she's pulling you back. Uh, you, you, she pulls you on to the uh, uh, main boat deck. Okay. Uh, the platform itself is destabilizing because the ship is going underneath the uh, bag. Um, so, but uh, Darlene sort of stands up, uh, and her arm is dangling there, but she seems fine otherwise. We'll fix that later. Yeah. Run. You have six hit points, by the way. All right. I'm going to, uh, not noticing at the moment, with the adrenaline surge, uh, try to remember where the helicopter is. It's pad. right up there. You just need to run up those stairs. Athletics checks. Whee! 16, made it. Right. 27, made All right. it. A darling is keeping up with you. Uh, by the way, raise your athletics to 60. <laughs> Feel really strong and athletic. Fuck. <laughs> um, so. Uh, yeah, the helicopter's still there. It's kind of tilted over. Uh, Dive in. There's a, yeah, <laughs> there's a spider there, but it's 80 people. Uh, and... I'd like, don't notice us, Mr. Spider. Yeah. I'm give, me, give me a pilot check. If you fail this, the... Crit fail time! Okay, I got a 50 in yeah. the helicopter. <laughs> Black. 70. Is that a failure? That's a fail by 20. Fail by 20. All right, so you're trying to start it up, and it's not a crit failure, so you don't yeah. instantly crash. <laughs> 
Uh, so you have time to get a passenger up. Uh, so the spider's coming on board, uh, uh, heading towards the helicopter. Uh, Darlene just yanks the piece of metal out of her arm and is just looking, oh god, what? you could shoot at it if you wanted to. Right. Yeah, why yeah. not? You get three shots before it's on the helicopter. Number one. Yes. All right. Number two. Yes. Okay. Number three. No. All right. Roll 2d10 for damage. Four. Six. Wow. Hoopty fucking do. Ten damage. Uh, it doesn't have any armor. Uh, it's actually surprisingly fleshy and pulpy. Uh, but it's still intact. And it's going to sh- jump after you. Uh, Falls, fails, time. Just throw your gun at it. I've learned this <laughs> in a lot of these scenarios. Let's see here. Oh, it misses. It had a, it only has a sixty in its skill. So um, yeah, it jumps on board the helicopter. Uh, you feel a heavy weight on there. You can give me another uh, flying check. You're going to go over. You're you're lifting up regardless. This is like twenty-seven. All right. I'm just by the turn, chef. Get that fucking thing off my off my bird. Yeah, Darling's going to try to stab at it. Like uh, yeah, roll it. Point blank range. Yeah. Plus 20. To hit. Yes. All right. Well, only one damage because you only hit one. Yes. No, you only get two. Uh, it's now it's a melee, so you only get one attack per round. Okay, so I hit. Yeah, yeah. Because one damage. Six. Six. All right. Uh, you pulp it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you pull away. As so, we're flying <laughs> off, I'm going to fire up the sat phone. Yeah. Not on speaker. Yeah. <sighs> She no, she grabs it. You, you, we, we should just disappear. Redial. Yeah. Siberia. Just don't. I. I no. They. You, you. don't get it. You can't go back to anybody right now. What do you mean? I had to save your life. I needed you to get off this thing because I knew you could pilot a helicopter, right? So, Coast Guard. Well, I thought you got, like, you okay? What, what are you trying to tell me? I, look, I made my, I, I made a backup dose. I didn't know if it would work. Uh, so I made a backup dose. Um, okay. So, yeah. Uh, dose? Uh, uh, of Lazarus. Yeah, same. <laughs> oh, yellow. God, I almost want to volunteer to like swap to the eighty five to fail. But <laughs> no, I made it. It's still not good. No, it's terrible. It's terrible. No, it's a one d three. So two. You're fully healed, by the way. <laughs> God damn it! So I'm probably noticing this by now. Yeah. The missing dose. Well, I made two doses. There, oh. I I took one too. Um, we're both the same now. We can't. Um, we we like. I don't know how long it's going to last, but it's a lot better than nothing. Um, and you can't, like, I don't know who you're calling. I don't know what fucking Illuminati X-Files thing you're doing, but they're not going to trust you, you know. You just need to set down somewhere. Um, you know, we're near, we're not too far from uh, uh, the Mexico. We could just set down there. Um, uh, my Spanish isn't too bad. Uh, I don't know if she notices. I never said I turned the phone off. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But you're dosed too. So what? Uh, did you leave the phone on silent? I'll I'll, I'll, I'll the phone on. Okay. Because I I'm, this is kind of, I think it's more of just interesting. Yeah. Way. But glance down at the phone. Uh. <laughs> you're you're fucked too. Click. Yeah. <sighs> well, we can't go to Mexico. <laughs> well, I don't know how much fuel is in this. See how much. Uh, I guess make an estimate. Is this a navigation or a... Oh, uh, no. There's not a lot. Well, you navigation to see if you can go somewhere else. Okay. Uh, okay. Figure out, like, what landing yeah. trajectories we can go with. Uh, what? 21 out of uh, 50. Uh, yeah, there's uh, a couple of Caribbean islands you can set down on. I'm kind of just... This fucking land is somewhere, man. Wherever the nearest landing point outside of the storm is. Okay. That's honestly the first thing I can do. All right, so you head off there, and that's uh, going to be where we call it, because you're <laughs> certainly not going to Delta Green now. Whoops. Yep. Sorry, Carla. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's fine. I was, I'm just alive. Yeah, you're alive. 
so yeah, this wasn't. This was actually part of uh, uh, the remnants of Majestic Twelve March Technologies. Uh, they're doing bad research on things, and they found out they could take Mythos spells and embed it into DNA. And so, if they took the Resurrection spell. You could have something that would keep resurrecting itself if it died. Uh, or a gate spell. You could turn something into a living gate. Uh, nice. And then Krodos was something else entirely. Uh, that, um, you know, I haven't fully just, yeah, I keep going back and forth. Kronos was something different. Uh, well, it was kind of something random. So, uh, you guys didn't interact with that too much. Cause, uh, uh, because don't open the book? Yeah, basically. <laughs> so was so, that actually Chad... Um. Uh, yeah, he, Chad was just insane. He was just <sighs> transformed by his experiences in the Plateau of Ling and Into other a places. Of Ling? No, no, he was controlling them. So he was Chad was still there. Like he was oh. still uh, like a sapient being, but he could control, summon, and combine and control spiders of Ling now. So oh, fun. Uh. So yeah. No, uh, that's good, how I know what? Up, uh, give what. Yeah. That's how he hooks you. Uh. So question, comments, suggestions. I uh, know it was good. Good uh, stuff. Yeah, I was hoping my plan would work. My plan would be great. So many good critical failures. No, yeah, it was it was fucking amazing. Yeah, no, I was <laughs> like, oh yeah, you get the boat away with all the monsters and stuff, and then and this guy, oh, <laughs> well, that kind of takes care of things. Do you still have, like, you didn't just put it in reverse, did you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a panic. It's what you do when you panic. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, it was a little more cinematic than a typical Blood Screen game, but. No, it was good. No, no it was fun. Actually, yeah. I kind of like that element, so. I uh, got the idea from reading about malware and DNA. Yeah. Um, you can embed information in DNA now that can then be read by a DNA sequencer that could then be turned into a computer program, i.e., malware. So you can hack the Gibson through DNA. Uh, so that's I'm like, oh, ter- what other kind of information could you embed into DNA? Yeah, that's yeah. not terrifying. It, it, well, yeah, exactly. So. Uh, yeah, I just like the idea of creatures that can keep resurrecting themselves, and they're just and so. Uh, yeah, darling's like, yeah, I want to live forever, and then like, oh wait, maybe like, I made a mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, well, it's a, it's a little too late for that. Yeah. So Elsa became more of a sorceress kind of person. Elsa, well, she basically realized everything was fucked. Like, how do I destroy everything? What's the most destructive spell I can have? Oh. Use the old school magic and yeah. summon. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, so what happened if I had gone overboard? Uh, you're basically dead, or with the deep ones. You, you, it doesn't matter. It's basically the same. So we'll never know what happened. Deep ones eat Randall, your brains. Uh, Randall and Vivian. But oh, no. like, yeah. Elsa. Hey, Elsa said you wouldn't do that. Well, you know, Elsa said a lot of things, but she was kind of like not stable there. Yeah. Uh, and Somewhere. that wasn't really Elsa. That was the deep one that ate her brain. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you can't trust alien mythos beings. No. Like, they're untrustworthy. So. Well, if you can't trust them, who can you trust? Literally anyone else. <laughs> uh, any other questions? Uh, no, that was great. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Again, it's like one of those things of trying not to step too far out of character. Out of, out of, like, yeah. Well, what, what you... Your first time it was a Delta Green thing, but now I, I realize it's better to make you guys not Delta Green at all, so you're just going into a blind and like, this is really weird and not what a thing should be. And then like, oh God, everything's fucked. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So yeah. It was fun. Um, so yeah, that's it. Awesome. Right. We'll talk to you guys next time. Thank you.